Hello, everybody. Happy Monday all around, or Tuesday, depending on where you are in the world. But hello, hello. How is everybody? How are you lovely people doing this fine day? Uh, we're back. We're back with Stationers, too. And, sorry, had to take a drink. Quite thirsty. And, I, 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 have, uh, have done a thing. Um, been playing around. Bod, hello, greetings. Uh, but I have done a thing. I have... If I look at Workshop, so I, I went out, I was looking at which of these mods work. Most of them, most of them don't for mineables. Uh, they haven't been updated in quite a while. Uh, so yeah, I am, um, I'm not currently using any of them, but I did go in and uh, I just edited the mineables file because um, I couldn't find one that met kind of how I wanted things to work. So I just went in and edited the mineables file so that ores yielded uh different amounts and i've gone ahead and tested this but we'll uh we'll go check it out right meow uh to start things off here sorry i'm gonna turn off my little heater it's cold in my room today uh yeah so i've edited the files normally it yields between three and eight uh iron per little nodule you mine so now it yields Power low. 16 well it Yields between 10 and 20 for iron. Um, what else did I edit? I edited... I edited most things. I didn't... There was some other stuff in there I didn't touch because I didn't, I didn't know what they were. But uh, I changed copper up a bit. It does the same. It does between 10 and 20. I only got 10 that time. Uh, I changed silicon. Uh, I changed coal here. Uh, yielded 16 to be also between 10 and 20. Uh, to try and find a balance that... Uh, wasn't, you know, a full stack of, uh, wasn't a full stack of, you know, uh, just whatever resource I was mining. Um, so I still have the need to, you know, go out and find a bunch of resources. Um, you know, so balance between, you know, going out and being able to sit here and build. So, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll, we'll try this, these levels out and see if, um, See if we uh, we we like this better, but uh, power low. What a what a way to start this off because power is the thing we're gonna be doing today. Uh, let's put this away. Well, let's thing up. Actually, I should probably do that and shower uh, because I am a very stinky boy right now. <clears throat> Must say you cut the last vod. Uh, I'm going to say you were extremely lucky finding your way back in the... Oh, God, yeah, that, uh, that was a phenomenal save, being able to find my way back here in the dark. I had no clue where I was going. I just kept looking for, like, holes that I had dug versus holes that were already naturally in the terrain. And eventually we just started seeing, you know, patches of ore we recognized. And lo and behold... I'll tell you what I haven't found, though. Um... Wherever the heck the lander blew off to, so, um, the stuff that was still on it, yeah. It's, uh, it, it is literally lost in the wind, um, because it blew off that direction somewhere, because that's the way the wind was going. Never found it, so I don't know what was still on it, but, uh, hopefully I got enough things off of it that we're not going to need it. Uh, what's this battery at? 61? Let's just go ahead and swap out our suit battery here uh and now that i can get you know more coal we'll go ahead and toss this in here and let some of that you know process up it's toast yeah that's what i figured it probably slammed a bunch of the against the ground a bunch and then blew up and then all of its crates are probably gone too so i'm just gonna write it off and we're uh we're gonna forget about it um What do I, we need to, we need to figure out what we're doing though. So I need, I need power. Uh, and I think either, 
probably solar is going to be the best. Um, I'm not sure that there's any wind here, and I wouldn't know how to gauge any wind speed anyways. I don't, I don't know what any of these values may indicate. I see temperature, I see pressure. I, uh, I don't see anything that indicates any, any wind levels. Yeah, so and with very low pressure, I wouldn't imagine a ton of wind anyway, so solar is probably the way to go. Uh, so with that in mind, actually, let's go in and uh, let's drink first so we don't get, um, you know, the heavy breathing of our of our stationery here. Hope you're good at logic and programming. Uh, you're going to need it. Ooh. Ugh, about that. Uh, we're going we're gonna to try to make something quite simple. Ooh. Hmm. Probably need some more water ice, too. Uh, oh, I have some. Never mind. Uh, open this up. Let's go ahead and drink. Uh, you? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so drink and... Ooh, you know what was on that lander? That I didn't pull out? The rest of my food was there. Ooh, so we got 41% of a uh, can of tomato soup. Okay, so maybe I'm not going to deal with power right now, and we're going to instead deal with, uh, uh, there's grow light kits. Oh, and there's supposed to be a, uh-oh. Alright, so, let me turn that off. Um, there's supposed, there was supposed to be a little mobile hydroponics thing, uh, which is gone. I, I have the seeds, luckily, so I can remake the hydroponics thing. We have a atmosphere that's a little low on pressure in here being 85 um so i may look at upping that a bit uh what's the atmo in here oh that's a tracking beacon let's uh replace that the atmosphere in here oh it has a bit of pollutant in it um oxygen nitrogen <clears> hmm <throat> Might add a bit of nitrous here. Uh, you got the nickel for portable hydroponics? Yes, yes I did. Uh, we do have a little bit. Uh, I don't think it's a lot, uh, but I do have a little. That's, uh, that is somewhere. We did mine up some of that. Uh, let's put this in here. Turn this on. This should filter out carbon dioxide and pollutant. Okay. Uh, let's do... A bit of nitrice to kind of up the uh, up the pressure in here. Just a little bit. Uh, what are we looking at? Ooh, hold on. I need a... Uh, stop taking out the CO2 in my room. Go in the corner. Um, Alright, so... Oof. Get rid of the pollutant. Uh, you still have pressure room in you. Power low. Turn that off. I now need the pollutant's gone. I need um. I need a nitrous filter. Didn't I have one of those somewhere? I think I put it outside. Let's cycle. Oxygen low. Oxygen uh, don't you want CO2? Ooh, helmet. Uh, yes, I did want, um, I do want CO2. Yes. Uh, quick question. Uh, did you grab the network analyzer? Uh, I think it is in that little crate in there. Yes, I do believe I have that. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, no, I have the hydroponics. Yes. Oh, hold on. I didn't realize I'd grab so much. Um, uh, we made that kit battery last time. Uh, so I need this. I need... This water thing, and then the seeds are inside. Oh, I didn't realize I had grabbed the hydroponics bay. Yes, yes. Cycle. Nos is in my suit. Oh, <laughs> the Nos is in my suit. <laughs> Good call. 
and the tossing of things in the corner begins. Yes, it's uh, it's gonna get rough. Uh, we're a little limited on space. I want to enclose the exterior out here around all of these components and turn this into a bit of a workshop out there. Uh, probably leave that um, furnace outside uh, as that could get just a little hot. All right, cool. Turn that off because that's uh, that's gonna be dead soon. Oh, and good. It's night. And uh, the obligatory uh, phone message, because I forgot to silence my phone. Voomdava! Uh, okay, so let's build this. Uh, then there is a, yes, a port for water. Uh, and we'll wait till the sun starts coming up before we throw in some seeds. Uh, but I don't know how fast any of these grow. Um, how fast do potatoes grow? Potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, potatoes? Oxygen, moles, low, nutrients, growth time, 50 minutes. Okay. So potatoes are 50 minutes. Uh, wheat's probably going to be a while. I'd probably need to process the wheat as well. It's probably not going to be happy with me just straight up eating grain. Fern seeds, rice seeds, mushroom seeds. Corn, pumpkin, uh, might be able to make a grow light. Uh, I have the grow light kit right here, uh, but with the glass, I'm hoping I can just use the sun because, uh, well, the grow light is going to eat into my uh, my power concerns. Also, you know what? I never checked this. What do we breathe? Oh, wait. We're breathing 100% oxygen in our suit? That's crazy. Uh, also, nah, a bit of pollutant. We have the NOS in our suit. That can go there. So NOS pollutant. I want CO2. So let's open up our uh, waste tank. That'll, uh, yeah, that'll pump a bunch of CO2 back into the room for us. Let's go ahead and turn this on to rip out that, uh, that NOS and pollutant out of our air. Uh, shrooms don't need the light. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Um, mushrooms. Mush. Mushrooms. Mu oh, nope. Uh, mushrooms. Here we go. They take an hour and one second to grow. Um, I should be fine on the, the remainder of this for about an hour, hopefully. Um, so, uh, we've only got three seeds here as well wait they're not gonna be mad when the sun comes up are they um let's just uh mushroom is thriving towards fruiting okay cool we'll just plant two for now just in case something goes um something goes wrong we can get one of our um we can still have a mushroom ready to go uh, and then we'll plant some potato seeds in the morning. Uh, how long does soybean take to grow? Soybeans take an hour to grow. Okay, so I'm thinking potatoes is probably going to be the quickest. Uh, but you know what was on that thing? I'm tired of bumping into you, bud. Go there. Over. Here. I said, go to the corner. Ah, that'll work. Okay. Hmm. Good call on saving one? Yeah. I do believe so. Uh, if you scroll down, you can get more info uh, on the plants. Um, yeah, I can get... A lot of this stuff. Uh, but those should grow in this environment. Um, mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. Uh, water usage is... Okay, so we'll be fine on water for a while. Exhales. Whoa. Mushrooms inhale oxygen, exhale CO2. Ooh. That's interesting. Um, 
you know, in a, a very small thing. A tank is a pain, yeah. I don't know why every time you grab it, it, uh, all of the things face the other direction. Because that makes it very hard to place somewhere uh, you would like. Alright, oh, crap, I should have checked. Okay, so you're just burning power then. Okay, you can shut off. CO2 is a little... Eh, actually, it's fine. 3.96. That's, uh, that's fine. Uh, I'd like it at about 4.5, but, uh... Either way, uh, we can undo this. I should probably look into a shower. Um... If we do F1... Shower. Uh, kit shower. Uh, okay, so I can make a shower. I think it's designed by Grrr. <laughs> Um, shower, here we go. Um, showers, prefab structure name. Uh, requirements, one kit shower. Requirements, a screwdriver and liquid pipe. Easy enough. Uh, okay, so I do have a temperature in here that's good. The pressure is a, is a bit low. Uh, I could... I could slowly bring that pressure up by doing things like opening my waist tank a little. Um, just to bleed it out. Uh, but that's going to, you know, marginally increase. Um, needs power. Uh, there was a power shower and then there was a regular one that probably just works off of um, pressure. So long as we have enough pressure in our line. Speaking of which, do I have... Ooh, that's very little water. That's, um... That is not enough. Oh, wait, that's at zero. Oop, I, I meant to drink that. <laughs> not throw it across the room. Uh, but let's drink that. It's got a little bit of water in it left. So let's go outside and... We'll close our helmet. Um, cycle. We'll go outside and uh, throw in some water ice. Uh, that is in my mining belt, actually. Uh oh. Um this seems to have died. Uh we're gonna borrow the, the battery out of our drill for now. Finish this depressurization cycle. There we go. Turn you off. And I'll probably put yeah, this bigger battery in there, so I have to worry about that a little less. Uh and we're gonna burn some some coal. Here, just to get some, some power back into that, into there. Uh, and then turn you on for a shower. Shower! What do I need? I need iron and copper. Who has iron and copper? You have four grams of iron. That's not enough. Um, you have, Oh, I need... Uh, I'm going to need copper. Okay. Turn you on. You burn that. Uh, oops, steel. Mm. Yeah, you met iron. Close that, close that. Uh, you can have your 3 grams of copper back, along with your 155 grams of steel and 23 grams of gold. So I need iron, and you'll... Ah, you'll just now finish up. Give me 10 grams of... The lovely, lovely Kappa. Um, you're not holding any pressure, are you? Mm, 2.27 kilopascals. That's fine. That's um, that's, uh, that's atmospheric pressure out here. So it's equalized. Alright, so give me that shower. Make sure it only makes the one. You're done doing your thing. Uh, swap you out with... My suit and, uh, oh, I don't, I'll have to get more coal at some point. All right, let's, um, let's split a bit of water here. Actually, that's, uh, more than I wanted. Just do about seven. Turn you on to let you grind that up. This has got H. 2 oh, 
Uh, if you make a stacker, you can cut slash combine ingots. Oh, I didn't know I could uh, I could split the the ingot sizes. Oh, I need a stacker to do so, eh? All right, so that'll fill up my my water bottles. We'll probably also use this line temporarily uh, for the shower. Uh, thank you. You can power off, although my battery is dead, so it does not matter. Um, let's put this here. Kind of organize our stuff just a little bit. Give me that. Give me that. Gold. And then I do believe I, uh... Okay, I got 18% in my, my mining drill. We're fine to grab just a bit of this coal that was over this way. Gaming forever! Hello! Howdy! How you doing? Welcome on in! Uh, grab some of this coal. With our lovely edited files, we can get a little bit more, so we don't have to do as much mining, and we can focus a little more on the, uh, the building side of things. That... I gotta see if there's a better drill or something, because this thing takes a while to mine some of these better, or these more rare resources. Um, ah ha 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 ha! Found some more, and more, more. Uh, now that the sun's up, I should go check on our, um, our mushrooms that we planted, as well as plant some, uh, potatoes. Some papa fritas, as they're known. Doo -doo. Wait, no, papa fritas is french fries. Uh, there is a better drill. Ooh, good to know. Uh, you have to make the equipment workbench. Ah... Equipment workbench, which is something I want to look into anyways, because uh, I imagine my suit can get uh, get damaged quite a bit. Uh, put that in there. Uh, okay, so those solar panels are giving me a little bit of power, not, you know, a crazy amount. Power. Oop, I just powered that off. Cycle. This isn't going to fully pressurize, so just cancel that pressurization. These are thriving towards fruiting. Uh, the mushrooms are in darkness. Oh, they're still in... Oh, it's because this, they're still in darkness. Mm. Let's move some of this shenanigans around. Give me this. Uh, th towards fruiting. Good, they're not in darkness. Okay. Uh, now let's grab some potato seeds. Plant one, plant two, and save the third one. Uh, these are thriving towards fruiting. Okay, cool. Uh, and they'll have a bit of sun for about half or two-thirds of the day. Uh, so we'll be happy there. Um, Da-da-da-da-da-da. Um, okay, oop, okay, I didn't, I didn't do anything bad, bad, check the atmosphere in here, so it was a little bit of nitrogen, a little bit of pollution, nitrogen, nitrous, not nitrogen, so it was a little bit of nitrous, you know, like the stuff you put in racing cars, yeah. Are you horrible thing? Yeah, go there. Give me this. That's my tracker, so if we go out looking for resources, we can find our way home. Uh so I'll put those water bottles. This one can just go over there. Uh, and then we have our, uh, our shower kit. Here we 
we go. So there's a water in. Oh, there's a water out too. Ooh. We'll put a shower there. Actually, hold on. I meant to. Um, I meant to to look at that. Uh, what are we? Give me that. Uh, give me this. Ah, yeah. So there's a there's a powered one, and then there is a uh, just a regular one. Okay, so there is there is two. Okay, so what do I need to work on you? Probably uh, I need a screwdriver and liquid pipes. Uh, we knew that. I don't have the pipes on me. They're all outside. Um. Oh wait, what is this? It's a little health bar now. Why? Why do you have health bars? It's because you're in the sun. What's up? Why are you dying? T tell me why you're dying. Mm, you have water. There's no place to turn anything else on. Uh, does that mean I need a waste tank? Uh, Maybe. If anything, I need a, a liquid tank to uh, to push the water back out. So I could probably do two liquid tanks, one to a hold, and then pipe it into this. Or uh, hold on, let's build this. It'll be easier to see. Uh, but I don't know why those mushrooms appear to be taking damage. Uh, you think it's time till? Oh, it's time till fruiting. Oh, okay, I didn't even look at um. I didn't even look at whether or not what stage it was in. Not whether or not. Uh, it's regular pipes. I don't have any liquid pipes. Okay. All right, you friend, on. Pipe kit liquid. Here we go. Just make me a fair few of those. Give me these. Uh, let's get like, um, uh, I don't know, like 10 of them to start with. Probably need more than that, but, uh, for now, that's all we'll do. And then let's do two water tanks. Uh, do we have water tanks? Kit, water purifier, bottle filter, um, liquid tank it would probably be. Because there are other tanks. Um, pipe heater, kit liquids, um, utility, portable liquid tank. Ah, here we go. I need, oh, I need a bunch of iron. Okay. Let's uh, open up the mining belt here. And just have uh, some regular old iron, shall we? Probably need more iron so it might be uh, beneficial just to mine up this little bit that's next to us here on base uh, and we'll swap out our belts mining 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 keep on keep on mining yeah look at that much faster, but also not uh, overly done, I believe. Or at least I hope. That way we don't just entirely... Uh, ooh, that was silicon. We don't entirely trivialize the mining process. Right. Doop. Doo -doo. Uh, oh, you are done. Have that and that. Just make a bit of extra iron for us. Alright, so I want two of these bad boys. This is going to give me two. Perfect. Because I won't have the resources for a third. So, Wunderbar. Uh, also, our batteries can get swapped for there. This one's at 91%. That's fine. 
we go back to our other tool belt. How are we looking? Power's fine there. Um, 85%. Yeah, all those are fine, more or less. One of those. And actually, I wanted to look at... Can I make lights? Uh, lights, lights, lights. Oh, portable light. Hello. Uh, need a bit of iron. Have that. Okay, so... That was those. Um... Do we have a, uh... Is there a way to do... Pressure regular. Here we go. Give me... Oh, gold. <sighs> gold. Need the gold. Build just the one pressure regulator. That should allow me to um <clears throat> to to push water instead of just having it equalized to the pressure. Uh, it should allow me to push water one way to another. Uh, and actually, I'm probably thinking about that. Gonna need two of those, one for either side. Um, that way, and I can prevent you know from overpressurizing. Uh, pressure regulators. Yes, that's what I wanted. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, I'm going to need a sensor kit later. Uh, so at the moment, don't really. Go ahead and process with the gold. The gold takes time. Uh, and let's split. Let's do half of half, shall we? There we go. Uh, if it's not the only one thing, it's another. Yeah, it's, it's always something, ain't it? Okay, so uh, to build that, I needed the oh hole. Hello. Uh, to build that, I needed water pipes, which I now have on me. Should probably make some extras, but at the moment it's just fine. I'll probably leave this on as well. Actually, swap that out with my suit. Boing. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Ba -na -na -na. Ooh, actually, I should have grabbed one of the batteries from out there to swap out with the, uh, with this guy. Because I think this is dead. I think that's what's happening here. Nope, it's at 10%. Uh, which is good, because I am going to... Uh, I'm gonna check what's in the atmosphere currently. Uh, nitrous and pollutant want to get filtered out. Uh, I'm probably going to up mm, night oxygen a little, actually. We'll, uh, we'll do oxide. Uh, let's do five more of that. Let's turn this on to clean up all the nastiness in the air. Pollutant and nitrous uh, and we want pressure a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, and then a bit of nitrous. Let that clean everything out. Could probably do with opening this. And that brings, yep, yeah, just over 100 kilopascals. It's kind of where I want it to sit. Uh, ooh, that nitrous is actually bad for the plants as well. Actually, uh, nitrous at that level should be fine for plants. Uh, yeah, they should be fine. 
Uh, is thriving towards fruiting? Is thriving towards fruiting? Yeah, see, this one doesn't have that little health bar thing. I think that might have been because these were in the sun and they're not supposed to be? Um, let me actually check that. Uh, mushroom. Um, Fluten. Uh, min grow temperature is zero. Max grow is 50. Min. Max pressures. Ideal grow pressure. Max ideal grow pressure. Ooh. Uh, so I'm not, I'm just over ideal grow pressure for that, but that's okay. <clears throat> uh, light per day, zero seconds. Darkness per day. Oh, okay, so it should not go into the light. All right, that's what's uh, that's what's happening there. Then, um, hmm. they might survive three days. Uh, maybe. Yeah, mushrooms aren't supposed to have any anything. Uh, there's a big hole there. Oh, that hole. Yeah, <laughs> I fell down. Sorry. Mobby. Uh, put that away. All right. Construct that. All right. Uh, okay, so the front side is output. The back side is input. Which means we'll go this way. And just go straight back out. Uh, and we'll put the waste tank there. We'll put in line over here a, uh, a different holding tank so I can, you know, have more water pressure than just what the the pipes can hold. Do not go into the light. Resist, sir, with all your strength. Hold back the forces that tempt you. Uh, solar controller. Ah, network analyzer. Yeah, see? Mm, I don't know what the, the solar controller does. Uh, looks like I have an extra sensor. So I'm going to add this. Uh, pipe valve. Hmm. Let's actually... Let's actually take this. Uh, because I want to... There's liquid pipes in here. Um, yeah, we'll take that because I actually do want to uh, be able to shut this off. Oh, actually, it has its own built-in shutoff. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I don't need you. Go back to your home. Worthless. Also, you're dead. All right, cycle. Oxygen low. Ooh, uh, helmet. Oxygen critical. Uh. Low pressure. <laughs> uh, did we... Oh, I don't think we did. Uh, portable light. Yeah, I want to check this thing out. What's, uh, what's up with it? Put that there. Alright, then I need to undo a lot of this, but it's going to push water this way, so... Hopefully there's not a ton in here. Uh, 11 moles of pressure. Yeah, that's, it's, it's fine. Put that away. Oh, gold. Uh, go into the electronics printer, please. Um, I heard this thing click. Where did it push the, um... Where did the light go? Oh! <laughs> the light went into the crusher. That's funny. Oh, okay. Shut you off. Uh, shut you off. Quit... Drawing power nominally. Uh, this thing takes a battery. Let's throw this one in it. Turn it on. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, it works in my hand. Wait, will this work if I just leave it in my bag? <gasps> oh, that's so much better. And we don't have to use our suit light and drain our suit power quickly. Oh, look at this. It goes maybe two-thirds the distance is our suit light, though. But uh, even still, this is omnidirection. Oh, this is so much better. Oh, look at this. Uh, you can turn on and put in your suit. Cast light around. Ah, yes. Oh. Look at that. This is so much better. Oh, 
I love this. Oh, we can see. Now you're not just stuck with like, you know, just the circle in the middle of the screen being able to see things. We can uh, we can see around us and work a little better. Oh, I'm going to... Can you turn on battery? Uh, I'd like a larger bat. What do I need for a wireless battery? Uh, more copper? Okay. Uh, you have survived 12 days without dying. Ooh, impressive. Uh, all right. Uh, enough of that uh, shenanigans. Let's pull a lot of this. Uh, so you'll stay there like that. Um, right. There. So you can stay there like that uh, because that's still got to feed the the water bottle thing. Um, oh, wait. Hold on. I need that there. Uh, these are our portable... Hold on, wait. Uh, I thought when I looked this up... Tank... Um, wasn't there a... No, maybe it wasn't in this. Maybe it was in this when I was looking at things. Um, uh, kit container mounts? No, there was a... Um, Uh, wasn't there... I thought there was a, um... Like a mount thing for these things to sit into. A connection? Is it container mount? I thought that there was a... Kit, portable containers, portable air conditioner. I don't want those. Those are the big boxes. Uh, there's a pipe thing that allows for different tanks. Yeah, I thought there was a, um, what was that thing called? I know I saw it. Uh, kit, airlock, uh, look in the pipe bender, yeah. Drinking fountain, ice crusher, we have insulated pipes. I don't need, technically. Um, liquid drain, nope. Uh, I'd like to recapture the water and see what kind of wastewater it is before I just, you know, dump it onto Mars. And it's, oh my god, there's a storm. Um, where is the utility gas uh, engineer kit phase detector? Nope. Air conditioner. Uh, Portable gas tank? No, that's like the thing we have inside. Oh, portable's connector. Here we go. Uh, I need iron, 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 iron. Uh, I need two of them, so I need... Oh, I don't want to open this while the storm's going. No! Alright, so we found what it is. Uh, it's the uh, portable's connector. Alright, so turn that off. Not waste power. Uh, I do have a different problem, though. I need this for. Put those away. Eh. Walk against the storm. Okay. Uh, these were taking damage. How do I see damage at 48%? Uh, damage at 81%. Yeah, here. See if we can't patch this up. So it doesn't break during this storm. It was at like 60% damage from the first storm. So uh, is not damaged. And then this is... This will survive this storm. But uh, we do want to... Uh, we'll make sure to patch it after this. Yeah. Let me down. Portables connector. Um... Is for the big portable tank like uh, the O2 tank? Yeah, that's what uh, that's what I need, isn't it? Uh, like the uh, like the O2 tank that's in the corner over there. Uh, that's what I need because I think these. Um... Oh, I put them away into the thing. Of course I did. Yeah, suit organization. 
Um, air conditioner. Yeah. I think these set up into a tank that looks like that. Uh, we can go and test one. I should be able to test it in the airlock. I think it'll fit out here. I think. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like that other one. So I need that uh, portables connector for it. Because uh, that'll allow me to, you know, Hunger, pipe in and... Pi okay. Hunger caution, that means I'm just below 30%. Uh, so I should be just in time to be able to harvest and grab potatoes and, and live. Not have to, you know, end my living streak. Uh, that's at 50%. Okay, so I should, should be cautious of things. And so we'll close that just to save our stuff. Potatoes are thriving. These are thriving towards fruiting. Yeah, that little bar is going down now that they're in the light. Okay, so. Alright, uh, that's empty. There's that big hole we made. Um, open up our helmet. We'll go ahead and eat a bit of our, our remaining food. Down to 29%. So that'll keep us going for... A fair little bit, actually. Oh, Mard, thank you for the thank you for the two bucks. Uh, you need a pipe utility to do an inline tank. Oh, I need a. Oh, okay. Um, I'll make one of those then. Uh, I still want to see the portables connector because I think I might be able to, you know, mount this uh this to it. And then I can use uh, Oxite in the same ice crusher because there's a gas outlet. And because apparently I'm breathing 100% O2, I can take the O2 and push it into here to fill up my uh, my tank again. And that way I can make sure uh, Air tank critical. I always have uh, O2 on me. So they gotta be nice. Potatoes. i to be able to shower. Let me shower. Oh, I think I need to take all my stuff off, too, if I do that. Uh, maybe we also look into getting a locker for in here, then. Uh, if I've got to take all my, my suit and stuff off. Uh, we'll get a locker for maybe this wall or this wall over here. Yeah. For now, I just want the storm to pass so I, I don't run the risk of all my ingots blowing away in the... In the, in the craziness of whatever's happening out here. The pipe utility also is a tank filler for both liquids and gas. Oh, okay. All right, we'll do that then. What's the, what's the portable's connector for then? Yeah, we'll look it up later. Uh, is there a way to take this thing down? Can I drill this to, ah, I can deconstruct it, perfect. Vundava. Uh, I guess while we're in here and our helmet's open, I should probably also drink some water. That way we don't have to worry about that. Put that back. Oop, no, put that in the... Why did that go up there? That's supposed to go there. Ah, let's sigh. Let's see. Uh, so we do have that grow light still. We have an egg carton. Wait, Eggs? Can I get chickens? Are these chicken eggs? These duck eggs? These... What is that? Ice. Whoops. Sorry. Didn't mean it. Oh, wait. Uh, I brought you a new battery, friend. To let you run, because you never finished cleaning the air. Actually, the air in here is... Oh, nope. There's a little bit of uh, nitrous and pollutant over in the corners. Yeah, we'll suck all that out of here. Get it out of here. Pollutants good. Oop, still getting a little bit of nitrous around in areas. Okay. Looks good. Put that away. Put that away. All right. Can you be done? I would like it if you were done. Uh, do I have more iron in my... I do have more iron. Uh, because apparently I, I keep needing to make, you know, just straight up iron. 
Uh, so we'll do we'll do a whole another stack of it. Mark, thank you again for the another three dollars. Appreciate that, bud. Thanks for all the great content. Of course, of course. Anytime. I'm happy to do it. All right, let's cycle outside. Uh, ooh, helmet. Close it. Oh. Whew. I gotta make like a checklist for in here before I hit this button to say, did you check this, this, and this? Oh, let's turn that off, save some power. Yeah. All right, and because we're going to be burning a fair bit of power to make, ooh. Oh. Whew. <laughs> Meant to have a hand empty when I did that. There you go. There you go. We're going to turn you on, and we're just going to stand on the... Oh. Uh, never mind. I was just going to stand on the other side and wait for it to pop out. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Phobos. At least I assume that's Phobos, one of the moons of Mars. Uh, just, you know... Orbiting around the planet every so often. I assume that's what that is. The helmet thing catches me a lot as well. Yeah. Uh, checklist would be good. Yeah, some kind of... um. Even if they... Ah! Okay. Uh, I'm definitely going to want some bigger batteries for, uh, for this thing. Even if they just gave me like a rideable LCD panel... Uh, might be Deimos. Ooh, it might be Deimos as well. Uh, I think Deimos is further out from the surface of Mars, though. I think Phobos is the closest one. Um, because it's supposed to crash into Mars in, like, another, like, three million years or something. So, uh, no, we needed you pipe utility. Uh, kit pipe utility liquid. Oh, there's one for gas and one for liquid. Okay, let's make a... Uh, let's make one of these. And then we'll see how everything connects up. There we go, close you. Alright, and we'll, uh, we'll get everything figured out to start with. What are you at? 94%? I'll swap you with my suit. Oh. Oh, these are for, um, oh, these are for filling, uh, my tanks. Oh. Uh, Phobos and Deimos, uh, Panic and Terror. The minions of Mars, the god of war. Mars? No, Mars isn't that. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, all right, so these are inline liquid tank, um, inline small tank. Oh. Ooh. I thought there was a, maybe a... Um... What was that other... Ah, don't drag the window. I want the scroll bar. Mm. Oh, water purifier. Oh, yeah, we can recycle the water. Look, there's a water purifier. Oh, it's a good thing we're capturing. Mars, Ares, the god of war. Mm. Kit sleeper. Kit suit storage. Ooh, we do need a suit storage. Um, powered shoots. Ooh, shoots. Hydroponics unit. Uh, we're fine on that for now. Air conditioners. Hmm. Kit liquid tank. Uh, do we just go big liquid tank already? Hmm. Interesting. Shoots and ladders. There's a game I've never played. Um. 
kit. I do want to see what one of these is then. Make sure it stops auto. Ah, didn't do that. And, oh yeah, this is the thing I thought it was. Yeah. Because what I'm thinking is... Oh, this only has two ins. I thought one of these was an out as well. Hmm. All right. Um, so inline liquid tank, uh, liquid tank storage. This is for like the big bottle I put into there, uh, which is good because I needed this. Um, uh, I needed this so I could uh, hook that up. Inline liquid tank, inline liquid small tank. What's the volume capacity on this, I wonder? If I put one of these in line? Because uh, I thought one of these was an in and one's an out. Uh, let's do that. Uh, oh, it has a build state. Oh. Requires hand drill to deconstruct. I know I need this. I need a wrench to connect the thing. Yep. Give me... Oop. Seriously. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like that. That's what I figured. Uh, and then that puts stuff in. So an input for pipe liquids. Uh, input for... Okay, so one's liquid, one's air. And then... I probably could do this to recapture. Is there a way to draw this out using uh, pipe utility here? Um, so that's kind of because I can draw this over here and then use this for recapture. Um, oh, wait, why doesn't that connect up? Uh, need more. Pipe kit utility. Oh wait, I need two of these. Oh, to make a large, to make a larger one, I need two of these. Wait, didn't I have two of these? Oh no, I only made the one. Oh, uh, that's why I can make the small tank. Uh, but what we want right here, immediately following the thing, is a. Uh, pressure regulator, purge valve, no. Back pressure regulator, pursuant purge. Yeah, no, we want a want a pressure regulator. Um, then we wanted. Where's all my pipes? Did I? Oh no, I put them. Uh, I put them over here. Never mind. I'm crazy. Uh, give me that. Uh, that's extra coal can go in there. Along with a spare water bottle. Uh, and we're not going to go anywhere right now, so we'll put the tracker in there as well. Uh, and I have to bring power from there over and hook up into this, which I didn't realize I'd put so close to that wall. Oh, to that wall. Uh, we can set the pressure to hundred kilopascals. Which seems a lot. Uh, was there a way to incrementally do this? Oh, hold C for smaller. All right, let's drop this back down to maybe sixty kilopascals, which isn't a lot, mind you. Uh, it's far less than actually. We will make this 100, because this pipe can hold uh, 
a few megapascals, I want to say. Yeah, capacity, 20 liters, pressure. Uh, is that 9 kPa right now? And I think it can hold more. F1. Liquid pipe. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, liquid pipes. Thermal. Max pressure is, yeah, 6 megapascals. So, at 100, that's, that's barely anything. Um, how did I? Uh oh. F2. Oh, okay. F2. I was like, how did I turn off my HUD? Uh, so, this will be a recapture tank here. Uh, so, I didn't need two tanks. So, here we're going to have. Oh, come on. This. That. There and there. And we're going to take this. Come this way. And ow, oh my <laughs> stupid hole. Who put this hole here? And then a, if I can get up here, a thing like that. All right, so that'll be recapture. Uh, should be fine for quite some time. Uh, water can go into there. All right, so with all that, let's go ahead and just throw in all of our ice for now. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Stop you. Alright, you're not melting. Uh, because I don't have power for this lined up just yet. Uh, and I'm worried that that might. Uh, none of the water is going to pass through this. I'm, I'm worried about. So let's uh let's get power before all else, huh? God dang it. <laughs> uh you. Search for coil cables. Here we go. Just make me a couple of these. Oh, you could literally only make me two. There we go. All right now, if we turn you on. Why are you flashing? It's probably more than 100 kilopascals on the other side, isn't it? Um, put you away, put you away. You are 3 kilopascals. You are 9.2 pressure-wise. Uh... Are you not capable of regulating water pressure? Uh, currently flashing an error. What is, uh, what is the error? It says 3.7 liquid. Capacity is 120 liters. No liquid is in here, though. No liquids in there. Yep, no liquid. No liquid. What's, uh... 6.9 liters. Saying no liquid in these. Pipes. Is it because it's all going into there? Are these pipes? Are these bottles about to blow up? Is that is that what I'm learning here? Is that is that the is that the lesson I'm about to learn? Is that bottles blow up? 
let's um let's power that off. Um What happens if we Um Yeah, here we go. What happens if I helmet Helmet, suit, uh, my backpack, my belt, and my uniform are all off. I'm naked on Mars. Uh, and then I turn this on. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not doing nothing. Um, are you, you're out of power, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I figured. That's fine. Uh, you be out of power for now. Um, yeah, why aren't you, turn you on, you're not filling, there should have been more than enough ice for all of that, make sure you're, not enough water, okay, close the helmet, let's cycle to the outside, hmm, Um, cycle to the outside. Let's do a wrench. Let's do this for a small inline tank just to have a little bit because uh, it has better capacity than that. Um, all right, while the, while the sun's up, Let's grab, uh, let's grab some water ice. How are we looking? 100% on the drill. Perfect. Uh, oxide. I want to say this is silicon. I want, there was water ice somewhere around here. And I don't know if that's one of the values I changed in the, uh, in the files. So I may need a fair little bit. Uh, what is the pressure of the regulator valve? Uh, 100 kilopascals, uh, I think, is what I left it at. Mm, my ice, here we go. Oh, no, I changed the ice. Ice is yielding more. Yeah, here we go. Hydration critical. Hydration critical. Under 20%, okay. Uh, actually, I should probably grab some iron and coal whilst we're out here. Oh, I saw through the world for a second. He's in the wall. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that. What is up with all this? Look at all those little pockets of like open voxels and things you could accidentally drill into while you're mining. Oh my gosh. That's wild. Uh, let's go back. Let's go home. Let's go home. Uh, and we'll we'll validate what uh, what that thing is set to. Back for more punishment? Yes, yes, I am. And like any good masochist, I'm enjoying it. Although I've never referred to myself as a masochist before, so that's a new one for me. Um, let's throw you in there. Ooh, we're uh, right up. out of power because, of course, we are. Let's throw a 30 stack. And oh no. 
Quit wasting power. I just had a wire explode. Ah, uh, burnouts. I was afraid of that. Uh, I'm getting to the point where things are drawing too much power. Maybe 30 was, uh, was a lot then. Split half. We'll just do 14 here in a minute. Um, six. Give me this. Give me this. Ooh, I'm gonna need uh, gonna need wires. Uh, yeah, I need more wires. Uh oh. No, you can't make wires. You're you don't have the the copper. You have literally all of my stuff inside of you, sir. Um, actually, if I turn you on, throw in a copper. All right, go, 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 go. Gotta make this quick. Power low. Yeah. Oh, why did I type in copper? Uh, I needed to type, and there goes the power. Son of a, these things only last seconds. Hmm. All right. What's up? Hydration's at 10%. That's fine. We'll take the airlock battery. Throw that in. Close you. Uh, you stop it. Uh, coil. Uh, I could go heavy coils, which use 5 grams of gold, 5 grams of copper, or... Just regular coil cables for now. Uh, should still be fine. Yeah, I can get two out of here. Perfect. Shut you off. Uh, cut some wires for temp use. Uh, yeah, that was also an option. Uh, I did not think about in our haste here, or my haste. There we go. Okay. So, if I... Split, seriously, split half of you. Let's see if we get another, another burnout, burnout. Listen for the sparky right, Make sure you're on so you only pull all of that. Okay. All right, now. You have that. You have basically none. You are giving up. Yeah, what error are you giving me? Uh, it's currently flashing an error. Yeah, what um, what is your error? You're hooked up. There's water in there. Uh, but you don't want to push it. Uh, what is that about, friend? Cycle. Wrong valve. Oh, it just said it was a pressure regulator. So, mmm. Is there one specific for wa uh, water, then? <gasps> no, the mushrooms died. We mourn for the mushrooms. Is thriving towards fruiting. Uh, that's the gas up. I see. Let's consume some agua. Uh, actually, that other one wasn't enough. There we go. Okay. Uh, Do we have a... Nope, that's just a pipe valve kit sensor. Okay. Um, close our helmet. Cycle to the exterior. Ah, I didn't know there was one for... Uh, Yes. Makes sense, though. Shut you off. You're still, uh... Oh, no, you're not. Let you keep making power. Mm, for now. Uh, so give me a wrench, then. Put this away. Need a hand drill to disconnect. Oh, okay. Okay. 
So is it uh, pressure regulator? So this one's for gases then. Uh, purge valve, uh, back pressure regulator, um, pressure rent valve, purge pressure. Okay, so is there a liquid pipe valve, liquid digital valve, uh, liquid regulator? Here we go. Let's make uh, cotton. I don't have any more copper. Come on. I didn't put any copper in here, did I? I did. Let's, <laughs> let's make some copper. Uh, if you run coal power only at night, you will have no problems with uh, power burns. Solar plus coal gins is too much for light cables. Ah, I got it, got it, got it. Uh, I know these can hold um, or support up to uh, 5 megawatts. Um, and then the heavy stuff, I think, goes up to, was it like 20 or something? Uh, I'd have to validate that. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't think I was producing, even with if solar got to its peak. Uh, I didn't think I was producing that much. Uh, we're actually going to, because I'm thinking about it. Swap. There we go. And stop using my suit light. Vundavar. We can see. We can fight. All right. Let me shut you off. Grab that. Turn you back on. All right. So this will give me the uh, build kit liquid regulator. So this is what I should need. Mm-mm-mm. 100 kilowatts. Ooh, that's... That's what the heavy support? That's, um... Ooh! Oh, God! God! Uh, no. I guess I'll need two eventually. Hmm. There you go, like that. Uh... Oh, this is just output fullness... Uh, oh, did I not need a volume regulator? Kit liquid regulator. Back volume regulator. I wanted... Ah, I think I made the wrong thing. Uh, liquid regulator. Um, liquid volume pump. That's what I... God dang it. I did make the wrong thing. Twice. Alright, so... Put you away. Oh, put you away. Thank you for you. Turn you off. And then I need to grab this guy. He's a hand drill. Okay. This is what we needed. To go there. To give me this. To, yeah, here we go. 10 liters. Yeah. So that'll constantly be trying to push that much over. Uh, so once this gets to... Um, should be once this gets to... Uh, yeah, there's not enough liquid in here. Um, so we'll turn this back on. This is going to constantly try and push us towards 7 liters on this side. We'll do 5 liters because uh, that's about the 50% mark of what it can do. Uh, and this holds 100 liters or up to 100 liters. Right now it ain't got GI yeah, because it's all getting pushed over here. 12 liters. Oh, wait. 134 Is this going to go up anymore? I know it can get to 120 liters, which is... Well, this pipe section can. Some of these other ones can go a little higher. Uh, but are you going to go up more, or is it going to start storing the liquid into here? 
13.4. You say NA, but you're still grinding up ice. Sixteen point seven. Yeah, it's. Um. Hmm. Why then? Okay, so. I mean, it's fine. This is gonna be able to hold it all. Uh, but the question is. Did I actually need one of these? Uh, liquid regulator, and then a um, and then something to to push the volume. But this does a percentage mark. Hmm. Little confused. But, uh, we'll play with it. One point two one liters. Oh, power ran out. Okay. Uh, we'll have to uh, play with whatever's in the tank currently. Didn't mean that. Yeah. All right. So now we'll strip off our suit and uh, <laughs> and, and figure our life out. I'll just cancel that. That's fine. I'll shut you off. Light. Turn. Actually, leave you on. Portable light on. We can shower with a light. Backpack. Suit. Helmet. Please don't break. That and that. Is there enough power? Yay! We've showered off. Yeah, hide your hide your bits, bud. I'm just trying to look at the trying to look at this. How's our mood? Good hygiene. Okay. Shut that off. Perfect. Uh, now, why didn't... Oh, you guys didn't feel because... Toggle on. Put that on. Put that on. Don't you power low me. There we go. Um, yeah, that can sit in our backpack. Perfect. Now, why weren't you guys filling? Because you're on the other side of that. You are there. Was there another short circuit on the top side that is uh, preventing that from filling? Or is it a simple power issue? You could be either one. Right, turn that off to preserve that power. Uh, check your potatoes. Ooh, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't even think. Mmm, potatoes. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any burnouts up here. Uh, yeah, none of these are... Burnt. So that had to have been... Yeah, because that's on the other side of that. Um... That simply works when there's power. Shut you off. Uh, you're going to be gaining five. Uh, let's do let's do like another ten in here. So this gets uh, get a bit of a charge to it. Uh, and then go back in and figure out why our water bottles weren't filling. And look at our potatoes. So we'll uh we'll trade with the airlock batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're limited because the pressure in here isn't what they're supposed to be. Um potato is thriving towards seeding. Yes. Perfect. Now we just want to wait till it, it finishes the seeding process. So then we can gather one to get a seed and then have two potatoes to eat. Uh from each of these. Yeah. Wonderful. Yep, and... Oh, hey, yeah. Nope, these are now powered up. Perfect. Or filled up, not powered up. 
weird thing to say. Give me this, take that off. Let's go ahead and eat. I still have 17% of that tomato soup left. Uh, I did not end up using the second liquids tank. Uh, we may later if we store something other than um, just the wastewater. And I need to look at uh, a way to take the wastewater out of that tank. Put it to um, something else. But that's fine for, for now. It just is, um, This is our waste going that way. Uh, did you grab the microwave and table from the land before the lander blew it? Um, I'm going to say no. Yeah, no, I didn't, uh, I didn't get a microwave or a lander. Or a table lander. Oxygen yeah. Low. Ooh, helmet. Oxygen critical. Oh. <coughs> Ooh, I remember things. <laughs> uh, but no, unless it's in this locker... That is horribly unorganized. Uh, kit battery, yeah, that's uh, that was supposed to be what I was working with today. Portable generator, air conditioner, um, yeah, that's gonna be a negative Ghost Rider. We did not get this so-called table or iron walls. There. I'll unclose that, then I can take that out and then have, you know, an extra little compartment in there. Also, it'll drop the pressure to uh, to nominal levels for my potatoes. Put those away. Uh, what is my mining belt full of right now? A uh, bunch of random shenanigans. Um, can I get a... What is... Um... No, I don't want that. I want um, kit lockers. Here we go. Takes one gram of iron. E no, it takes five grams of iron each. Oh, there's only four in there right now. Uh, you have 29 grams of iron. Lincoln, copper, something. Uh, oh, nickel. You go in there. You can turn off all the rest of these. Go into here. That's good. Let's grab this copper. And then you, in the meantime, while we're doing stuff, uh, because we know we're going to uh, want to upgrade to heavy coils, uh, just give me all you can right now, which is going to be 16. Uh, limitation is going to be on gold. So. Yeah. Uh, and then you were going to give me locker kits. And I'll just sit here and grab between the two of these. Hey. One locker kit. I want at least two, because I think I need two to make the big locker, like I've got over there. Uh, and I want a locker out here specifically for ores. Which way is this? This is this way. Put that there. Oh, and that little battery died again. There we go, and then I can stop you. Uh, where is our light? Swap out the batteries. Perfect. <clears throat> another four cables and then I want to make a production side of all of our wiring so all of my power production is going to be on one end where the batteries all the production will go into the big battery that I have uh, that's actually in that locker in there we'll go into that and then I can have everything run out of that and into everything else uh, some tells me I'm going to need more gold and things though Yes. Uh, but uh, we should probably also look at uh, 
the laying out of the base going forward. Uh, so the sun's setting there. It kind of arcs over the sky. It rises about in that area there. And then, you know, kind of whoop. So I'm thinking, given that's where it sets, that's where it rises. Uh, we go straight ahead this way and we do a big greenhouse. We go back this way. No. Yes? No. No, we do our, our hab can stay here. Uh, this will eventually turn into just personnel quarters. We go that way to do air. Um, we go that way to do hydroponics. So all of our grow stuff happens there. We'll go this way to do power production. And then maybe out over here to do like large whatever else happens. So habitation, food, and power are the big three. Um, and technically I can get habitation and food in one kind of like we have here. Uh, but I would like to segregate the two. Uh, so living quarters, so all of our showers and things here. Head over this way to do all of our growing because that should give me the best arc of sunlight. Um, and I'll, you know, enclose it all in glass there. Power production can be there because that'll also, you know, hold or uh, power production go either there or there. Um, and that would, you know, give me as much time with the sun as possible uh, before it sets over the horizon. So maybe power production goes there. Growing goes there. And then whatever can go in that direction. And then, you know, habitation will just stay here and we'll reconfigure uh, down the road. So, um, yeah, let's do that. So out that way, we'll start, we'll make, um, make more iron frames uh come morning uh because i'm gonna need well more iron ingots so actually turn you off because uh, i'm low on power here with extra coil cables uh we have extra kit lockers coil okay actually the kit lockers go inside uh, and then there's a bunch of stuff in there that we need to grab those go here, these go here, and our ores go here. We can't place the ice here, so maybe I should look at making a uh, a uh, another mining tool belt. Uh, so I'm gonna need for that is going to need the uh, tool manufactory, which needs iron and copper. Of course, it does. You have not enough copper, no iron. Uh, you have enough copper and a bit of iron for me. Mm, iron and copper. For the steel can go back in here because I was just using it for batteries. Uh, and then you said something about a microwave, so I'm probably going to need to make a microwave. Likely to bake my potatoes. Um, tool. Yes, I can make the tool manufactory. I'll only be able to make one. And then a microwave? No. Not in here. Maybe in here. It's technically an electronic. Oh, wait. It's literally right there. Microwave. Needs ooh, iron, gold, and copper. Are you gonna take twenty-two? Oof. Might be nice to um have some extra power coming in. Yeah, because you twenty-one percent. Yeah, you were you were low. I don't think that would have uh, cut it. Also, I don't think as much as I put in there is gonna cut it. Uh, actually. No, yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Let's turn this on. Let's cycle. Wee. And let's do a 
bit of work inside. Swap out for this. Oh, wait, nope. That's not right. I need this. Uh, you can cancel that. All right, uh, this is going to down my pressure just a bit to fill into that. Need an angle grinder. Seriously. Put that away. Yeah, now I've got all this stuff. Uh, so we'll keep this. We'll put all our building things outside. We'll leave this in here. Uh, this can go here. That and our ore. So iron ore, nickel ore, coal, more coal, and silicon. And then I'll just have to remember this stuff's in here, all disorganized like. Uh, and then these are, this will create one seed, yes. Yes, I got a seed. I got another seed. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. And then I can harvest potatoes. I have potatoes. Uh, will decay in 10 hours. Ooh, um... Will decay in 10 hours. Okay. So, I need a way to store those as well. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to need a... Is there a fridge or something I can make? Uh, that would also be under electronics. Uh, this is our tool maker. Just put it there for now. Uh, power you on. Um, we needed the microwave to print this. Didn't we? I need iron, gold, and copper. I have iron and copper in here. Iron, copper. And then you had a bit of gold, yes. Of course, gold's the last thing that came out. Let's go in there. Silicon goes in there. And gold can go back into there. And this will give me the microwave. Is there a fridge? Uh, kit, fridge. Uh, oh, it's still building the microwave. Let's, uh, let's let it finish off the microwave. Fine on power. And I have a ton of ore here. Let's do iron, coal, nickel, silicon. And then I can put these down here. Plastic sheets. That goes there. Glass goes here. That goes there. Place these here and here for now. Alright, got our microwave. Uh, now we wanted that fridge. So a small fridge needs iron, gold, copper. And large fridge needs iron, gold, copper, because steel. Uh, we might as well go straight, straight large. Um, it's likely going to, you know want quite a bit more uh, power from us. So let's do that. Uh, so once we get it, we'll immediately shift gears because now we have our food situation a little more um, a little more stable, shall we say? Yeah, I wonder how I get more uh, potato seeds because they each only gave me one seed. Which gave me back what I was already growing. So how do I expand growing? Do I have to plant? Can I plant a potato? Just the potato itself. 
I'll shut you off for now. You are almost done. Uh, now make a table to mount it and power. Oh, I need a table to power it. I was just gonna throw it on the floor. Um, kit tables is gonna need iron and cut. A freaking course it is. Um, give me this. All right, so that's not gonna take long. And then this needed iron and copper to make this. Yeah. Open you up. Steel, copper, iron. Power off. Close that. Ooh, I don't have enough copper left. Maybe that was a bad call making that. Yeah, I need four grams of copper. Oh, wait. I have... Of course that's nickel. Copper. Copper. Make a table. Do that. Do, 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 do. There and there. Vundava. Kit tables. My power went out in this guy. Yeah, I need to make a, a bigger battery. I want to try one of those wireless ones, though. Because uh, I think that'd be cool. Alright, so we... Hmm. Actually, we... I know this takes uh, a little longer to make, but uh, we need these coil cables. That way we can um, preserve our heavy ones for the power production side of things for for right now. Won't remain that way for long term, but for now, it'll be fine. We'll take these. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll take these inside with us um, to actually hook up both the fridge and the microwave. They probably also need, or the fridge probably also needs a bit to make the, the other thing. Uh, get the kit battery online? Yes. Uh, as soon as I get the potatoes, uh, stored away because they only have 10 hours and I don't know if that's 10 in-game hours or just like 10 real life hours of if it's 10 real life hours yeah definitely I'll, I'll switch gears and uh, put those away but if they're just 10 in-game hours which doesn't sound right um, then I definitely want to get them in the fridge sooner rather than later And then I can move off to um, in-game hours. Ah. Yep, see. Well, that's concerning to me. Uh, you think? Oh, well, uh, we'll find out here in a second as soon as we're, uh, we're inside. Doo -doo. I just want to turn all this copper, which means I have to go mine copper, because this is literally the last of my copper. Um, once we're done here. Thank you. Power you off. Make sure I'm not leaving anything out in the ground. And we'll deal with this tool maker later. I just want to see going on here 1.93 will hold a hundred liters uh, these will also hold a quite a bit I think I can just put this here and it is not melting perfect that's that's what I wanted uh, that's not gonna melt while it sits there we can cycle and swap out for my 91% just just because Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because you're just trying to pull straight off of the inside. That's why you take so long. Uh, provide will decay in 10 hours. Okay, so it still says 10 hours. Um, interesting. 
So we get that. And let's swap our tool belts out. Do, 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 do. So we can put that there. All right, table. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I see what you mean. All right, so I think I'll pull off of here and down. Oh, there's like, oh, there's a ton of different variations. Uh, that's just a non-powered table. Simple table. Oh. Interesting. Let's um let's just stick with variation one. Just a powered bench. Uh, because that's more than enough for us for now. Uh we are quite cramped in here. Uh but yeah, I think right here is is most effective. How do I... <laughs> Why? Uh, do I drill you to the table? No. Pick up. Ooh! Ow! Attack of the microwave? What the crap? Jeez Louise. Wrench. Oh. Um. Come here. Don't attack me this time. There you go. Freaking monster. Ugh. Attack of the microwaves, everyone. All right, so. Question is, can I? Can I run this way? No. No, I cannot. All right. Um, same happened to you, except it was ore. <laughs> oh, thank you, stationers, for these wonderful, wonderful moments. Oop. No, go there. Now go this way, which I can't do that. Mm. Yeah, this isn't a good spot for it. Then how do I how do I detach this? We wrench you again. Yes. What the? I don't want this. Money? Worthless. I'm trying to survive on Mars. Not buy a Prius. Uh, I assume a drill to take this up? Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then give me these back. We'll take our wires back. All right. There might be a better way to do this. Uh, hydration is critical. That's fine. I'm actually going to open my helmet. Yeah, I could probably just do this and then run around the backside to shower. That's fine for now. <laughs> this is, oh, this is getting, uh, it's getting kind of gamey in here, isn't it? Let's 
come up. And like that. There we go. All right. Whew. Okay. The microwave has been pacified, everyone. Waste tank caution. Waste tank caution. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, let's check out the potatoes. They now say nine hours. All right. If I put one in... You can use T to set it down uh, instead of Q to throw it. Oh, okay. Um, hey, where did this bowl come from? Anyone? Anyone know where this bowl came from? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thirsty. Um, we'll produce a baked potato. A potato at zero percent. Oh, is there, there's not actually power coming in right now. Oh, okay, hold on. Magic? <laughs> yeah. Oxygen Ooh, low. helmet. Oxygen critical. No power? Yeah. I caught that as well. Ooh, God. Sorry about that. I bumped my mouse really hard. Hmm. All right, so after we get this first little bit cooked up, we will start working on getting that station battery online. That way we're not wasting as much of the power from the, the cold generation um, as we are right at this particular moment in time. I should cancel the pressurization. Say to, oh, it's already baked. Wow, that was quick. Oh. Potato. Oh. Potato. Potato. Mmm. Potato. Uh. And we'll save the last 17% of that. Um, because my potato spoils and the tomato soup doesn't. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Need lots of butter? Yes. Need lots and lots and lots and lots of butter and cheese and bacon. I'll pass on the sour cream, though. Anything critical. Uh, let me double check the atmosphere. We've got a bit of pollutant in here, which is bad for plants. So maybe I turn this on for a little bit. Don't know where that pollutant came from. It's not a lot of it, it's just a little. And almost gone. Getting there. It's clearing up. Oh! Yeah, definitely, definitely need to get to, uh, get that bigger battery for our, um, for our mobile light. You know, we're going to be working outside for a little bit. Sour cream, bleh, yeah. I'm with you there. We're going to be working outside for a little bit, so maybe, uh, we swap out little one for a big one for now to give us a bit more time okay so what we want to do is we want to expand this way uh, and put our power uh, production facility or our solar field right in this area here uh, we don't want to go a crazy far ways away because it means we have to uh, we have to drag power a long ways but I do want it, you know, a bit segregated. That way, when we look at the base from a, a top-down viewpoint, we can see, um, we can see the distinction in what areas are for what of the base. Um, 
Now, that doesn't mean we won't have, you know, uh, redundant power um, storage and production on, say, the HAB and the um, and the uh, the hydroponics. Um, that way they're, you know, self-sustaining, self-sufficient, uh, not fully sustaining fit, sufficient, but they do have redundancy backup built into them. Uh, but for our main power production, everything that's going to power the base, I do want to... Uh, Go out this way. Uh, good way to cover the holes there. Yeah. <laughs> Especially this stupid thing. Actually, I think there's still more iron down here, which I'm going to need because I need to build a bunch of these um, iron whatcha jiggers. Uh, and we'll do that at the auto lathe here. Uh, so that's probably where we should uh, kick this whole, whole shindig off. Uh, oh, we never hooked up the fridge. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, we're going to kick this whole thing off with iron. Iron, iron, iron. Going to need a lot of it. Also going to need copper and going to need gold for um, uh, for for the heavy coil cables, which is what I want to use on my power production side um, and then leading up to my power storage area which I'll probably do right in this area. And we'll make a um, make a power storage room that we can get into, but we'll probably have it as a vacuum on the inside. That way there's no issue with um, temperature variances and any power bleed that may potentially be there from the cooler temperatures. So, yeah. Road trip! Yeah, no, not at night. I have, uh, I've... You know, I'm I'm done being lost in the dark. Uh, close that. I can go in there, start that. 50 grams of iron. Just turn you on. Oh, wait, can I make a... I can make a stacker in here. Yes, you told me about this. I need... I need copper. Guess how many total grams of copper I have left in this entire base. Go on. I don't think it's going to be hard for you to figure it out. Hmm. All right, so that's where we'll start is with uh, uh is with mining copper. Hold on. I need to do, need to flush my waste tank here. Uh, all right. There was copper up this way. Uh, what was here? Clearly I've mined something here. Oh, copper. Perfect. Look at that. Hold on. We will put this little divot over here. That points us back to base. Because I'm going to get turned around in a hole very quickly. Tracker. Yeah, it's off. And I don't have the tracker chip with me. I left it in the thing. Because I wasn't supposed to walk away from base. So... I've already deviated from the plan. Some people call that squirreling. I call it happy little accidents. Gabba. Yeah. I'm so happy it actually worked out changing the uh, the files to uh, to change up my yield amounts because otherwise we would literally be doing this for for a long time just to get the resources we need to expand and build the base so i'm kind of happy with the balance i i think i found here with um with what yields out versus um how much i need shiny things shiny Ooh, piece of candy Ooh, piece of candy Funny how that always happens, yeah. And everything I do in play. Also, uh, what's going on of late? Um, why is it always dark? No matter what I've, I, I seem to be doing lately. Imperion, I'm always stuck in the dark. I got stuck in the dark and entrouded. Um, I got stuck in the dark here constantly. Like, what's, uh, what's going on? Am I cursed or something? I'm just always, always being stuck in the stinking dark. Did I anger some god somewhere? Are they angry with me? 
Throw this on. Make me some kappa. That way I can have this stacker. Um. I only needed a... How much did I need? Uh, two grams. Okay. Stop. And start again. Alright. There we go. Yeah. Now instead of spitting them out on the ground one at a time, I think uh, if what I, I assume is correct, it pushes into this thing. Like this. Um, apparently it doesn't like to sit here. Oh, it's because, um, cannot place adjacent to autolate. Oh, I need, um, I need shoots then first. Uh, span just cursed you. You have the spanch curse? No! He can have it back. I don't want it. Spanch, why have you done this to me? We've never even spoken. Yet you cast me into the abyss of the darkness. Sir, I yell a curse at you. Here, stuck in the dark, alone, lost. Uh, shoots. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm. Oh, wait, no. Um, there were... Shoots were in this, weren't they? At least I assume I need shoots. Um, what do I need to connect to the connect to the thing? Um, I thought it was shoots, wasn't it? Uh, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Uh, because you attacked the Brotherhood. How die? Have I attacked the Brotherhood? I don't recall doing so. I think the only interaction I had with the Brotherhood was that one dead guy on my ship. Not shoot. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Oh. Well, that's uh, that's par for the course for me. Is it in here or the auto lathe? I assume the auto lathe. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna say auto lathe. So. Let me through. Also, copper goes in there to make uh to make wires. We're gonna do even more. Uh, sheets. No. Uh. We have vivid evidence on one of his streams. <laughs> look, look. Um, kit basic chutes. <laughs> Am I looking for chutes? Uh, role playing, I think. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I do a lot of uh, basic chutes. This thing? Is this what I'm looking for? Yeah, it's only three grams of iron. Why not? We'll make one. See if this is uh this is what I'm after. Ah. It was. Uh why can't I place uh oh cable corner is in my way. Oh, that's gonna be in front of my door. Yeah, I'm gonna have to re- Reconfigure my entire my entire situation here is uh, just out of hand. Um, but what we'll do with? Did you seriously just? Did it seriously just eat that? Yeah. Give me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Things are already going sideways on me.
Put those away. Thank you. There we go. Uh, stack size. Can I up you to... Uh, 50 is, I think, the max stack size on anything. Right? Oh. Uh, the extra copper that goes in there for when we get the gold. All right, so I now want you to just, while I'm gone, uh, I need iron frames, please. And then I'm going to need iron sheets eventually. But I now need to go out, gather gold and iron are the two major things. That should get to a stack of 50. Uh, actually, I won't even make it to a stack of 50, but whatever. Uh, so it'll just stop at some point. Uh, so for now, oh wait, no, 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 no. Bad, greedy, bad. Learn from your mistakes. We're going to go turn on the tracking beacon, grab the tracking chip, and then we're going to leave. Also, we're going to turn off this light for now. Also, I didn't realize I had my, uh, my headlamp on. There's an extra stacker. Uh, the chip I want is on the inside. That's fine. I'm going to put that copper away. There we go. Oh. Uh, I just need you to run the, the thing real quick. Like I said, uh, one of the first streams I'm hearing giggles of you being a noob. Hey, look, you know, we've all got that point, and I think that's the... that's. That's a lot of the f the funnest times to watch things. I know I've had someone in the comments before um, complain that I uh, that I I open up and fess up to uh, to my to my newness at a lot of things. Uh, but I think that's a lot of the fun is being able to to learn and experience the game in a in a genuine fashion like that. Um, actually, we'll leave the Atmos analyzer here. Uh, ooh. Maybe we'll get an extra carbon dioxide filter before um before we leave. Close that. You're gonna beep away. We'll cycle to the outside. Uh I'm at 75% food and water, so I should be fine there. Um What did I need before I left? That's at 19%. I would have liked a spare battery. I literally just said I need to grab something before we leave. And I, I literally already forgot whatever it was. Oh, I needed a, uh, I needed a filter, a filter, a filter. Um, uh, have you ever thought of trying 4X? Or X4. Um, I've seen X4 before, uh, but I've, I've never never even considered it. Um, it looks uh, a bit daunting to get into. Uh, I need iron. Of course I do. How much is left in you? One gram of copper. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just leave with these uh, these really low filters. Uh, but no, uh, it seemed very daunting to get into. Um, so I never really gave it any any in depth thought. Have that uh, close that because I'm not gonna eat while I'm out here. Uh, I shouldn't need to mess with any of that while we're out here. And let's turn off our headlight. Actually, we'll turn this on, because we're we're going down into the mines. <clears throat> Alright, I have a little over a stack of um Just expose this so uh we know there's more copper down here. Alright, iron and gold are the big ones. Uh there's water ice on the hill behind our uh our base. So not gonna be overly concerned about those. Ooh, coal, actually. 
uh, if I want to make steel or continue to coal power the base to charge the batteries uh, whilst I try and get my solar uh, shenanigans set up. Actually, thinking about it, we should probably set up the uh, the station battery first uh, in its little um, room environment, and then and then set up the solar stuff. Uh, that way, we can just tie it directly into the station batteries that should be powering pretty much everything. Yeah, that's what I think we'll do. First things first, we need the uh, we need the resources to do any of that, don't we? And now ore hunting at night is going to be incredibly... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say incredibly frustrating. Oh. Coal. Coal. Copper. Yeah, look, 10 gold. From one thing... There's another 13. Battery first. Um, charged by generator. Uh, give you time to build the solar farm. Yeah, that's kind of the direction I'm thinking too. Uh, that way everything can still be producing and I don't have to intermittently stop to uh, to deal with power issues whilst, uh, whilst building the solar farm and getting everything else ready. Is there... Ooh, I should look into... If there's a, uh, a better solar panel, a more robust one, rather, um, I should look into that. There's a more robust solar panel that doesn't decay as much in a storm. Because I think the solar panel will survive the big one, not the, not the basic one you start with. Um, the regular, the big solar panel survives two storms, and on the third one it'll break. Alright, it's a fair little bit of gold, uh, and then I don't have a whole lot of room left. Uh, we'll just go after, actually we'll head home and then go back out again after iron this way. Tracking begin. There is, but it takes funky alloys. Oh. Maybe we set up the regular ones first, and then, and then we change over to uh, the heavy ones later down the road. Because I think I seem to get a storm every every about six days. I've gotten a storm because uh, we get the first one on about day. So, oh God, speaking of storms, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Ah, uh, it was an accident. I didn't mean it. Vishnu, why have you abandoned me? Put that away. Nope, that goes up here. Uh, gold. Gold. Magical gold. Coal goes here. Coal and coal. Uh, we'll try and make little clusters of four, and then I can have a, a set of stuff down in the center here. I think is is going to be nice. Yeah, and then I can do a cluster of four, cluster of four, and then doop. I have four types, uh, and we'll s set up more... Oh, I have them on the inside. I have more locker things. Uh, speak and it shall arrive. Yes. That's the... The entirety of that saying. Speak of the devil and he shall come. 11%. Uh, Alright. Hmm. Put a stacker behind the arc furnace uh, so the ore doesn't blow away. Ooh, yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, and we did make an extra stacker. I need to make a shoot, though. And I think I used up all my iron kit stacker. I don't think it can be adjacent to this, can it? Uh, 
Now that doesn't look like it's connecting. Something tells me. If we... Let's borrow this. I think I need a, a wrench. Yeah, if I... Yeah, okay. I can't have it direct on it. But I can do this. Uh, I need power for it. Come on. There we go. Which means this APC needs to be on, which... Oh, it most certainly is. It just doesn't have a whole ton of power. So you can be on. Uh, oh, speaking of it not having a ton of power, I'm literally about to try and run a furnace. Probably have that going. What the? Oh, no, you're still running. I heard something click-clank. Uh... A windmill creates lots of power during storms, uh, but most of the time is almost useless. Uh, yeah, that's what I kind of figured for Mars. Um, there may be other planets, because there are other planets. Um, there may be other planets that are better suited for, for wind. Uh, change the stack size? Yes. Um, need you to increase. Uh, if I go to 100... Uh, that should give me 100 grams, so two stacks of iron per. Um, and I put all my iron... Oh, I don't have any iron on me, period. Uh, but what we can do in the meantime is have this working on a bit of gold. There you go. Yep, that's still climbing. This has still got... Oh, no, it doesn't. It has no coal in it. split half. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Give me this back. I can go there. Uh, I think for Europa has wind. Yeah. Uh, some some planet uh, that has a higher, you know, atmospheric pressure than two kilopascals because uh, the atmosphere on Mars is incredibly thin. I would imagine I think Venus is a planet um, that you're capable of going to. I would imagine that has pretty good wind power. Bad idea, it will blow away when it's done. Wait, why? Why will this blow away? It's trying to stack to 100, right? Won't it just hold this? Uh, it's got another 39 to go. 38 to go. Yeah, because a stack of 50 should produce 50 grams of, um, of gold. And I'm trying to get to a stack size of 100. So it should be trying to stack it to 100 grams of gold before it spits it out the back. Oh. Uh. Missed that. Sorry. Oh, no problem. No problem. I thought I was misunderstanding something. Uh, if they had, you know, the... The ore stacks work differently than the uh, the regular item stacks. Uh, but we're good to go there. I'm going to take this battery. Uh, actually, I'm going to put this mining drill in there. Uh, put our portable light in there. What does my suit battery look like? Uh, hidden. That's what it looks like. Ooh, 54%. Um, let's swap out with this who's at 100. That way we can try and maximize... Um, Took a bow break and missed the install. Ah, don't show worry about it. We're always happy to go back and check on things. All right, so we'll keep that. Uh, oh, that just kicked off. Yeah. Yeah, but it's dark again. Uh, this was an iron hole. Was there any more left mouse to mine iron? What do you mean? Huh? Where was the iron? I don't see no iron. Uh, but that's what I was wondering. Was there more iron down here? Uh, there's definitely oxides down here, but I don't need those. What did you mean, mine iron? There's no iron here. 
Good old battery shuffle, yep. Uh, I should probably look into making one of the, the full-size battery chargers once we get um, the power grid kind of set up. Uh, there's silicon. We don't need silicon at the moment, but it's nice that there's some, you know, right next to the base. Uh, yeah, I see no more iron. Why did it tell me there was iron here? They deceive me. I've been lied to and berated. Uh, you know what? Before we head off, though. Yeah. Uh, before we head off, let's, uh... Let's have a bite to eat and some water to drink to top off our stats. Uh, the sun is coming up. So we'll go out on a quick iron hunt. Uh, if we find one decent size, you know vein of iron we should be good for quite some time given the levels i've adjusted the uh the stuff to and i should probably also make a um oh wait hold on nope not that uh the one i want is in my uniform here we go yeah it does seem to be um Unless that just doesn't spoil whilst I'm outside, which is a possibility. There we go. Put that there. Uh, is thriving towards fruiting. Okay, so you're not ready just yet. Uh, I think I used up all my iron already, so I can't get a CO2 filter. I think that's the thing I was waiting on, right? Was that turn you on? Uh, yeah, no, I needed, yeah, I needed iron. Uh, yeah, you have finished up and has not, yep, it didn't spit out the gold. All right, cool. So we are confirmed on that. That gives me gold, copper, steel, so I can make the, the heavy cables once we get to that point. But first things first, we need a bunch of iron. All right, it's Day. Let's turn off our, our light. Um, swap back over to our... Oh, no. We still have our mining belt on. And close that. Coal. We have coal at the base. Oh, this is iron. Hello, good sir. Oh. Uh, we're already back into the mines, though. Iron, iron, talking about the iron. Yeah, look at that. Already over two stacks. Yay. I might have it a little high uh, on these settings. Because uh, I don't want to trivialize the, uh, the challenge of having to get the resources. But I don't want it to be as intense. Especially for stream content as it, uh, as it was. So... Hopefully the balance isn't too bad. It doesn't feel too bad. I wonder if there's a thing that can scan for ore. Or if I just have to blindly uh, dig my way through the ground. Wondering if I had collected all of a vein of ore. I should look into that when we're back at base. Turn that off. Let's fly up. Uh, might be able to adjust the mount. Uh, it spawns the balance. Just a thought. Uh, or glasses. Are or glasses a thing? Uh, but yeah, I did see the um, the spawn rates. They were in that same file. Um, it's a mineables.xml file, if you're curious. Uh, I did see the, the spawn rates in there as well. Uh, but the only things I adjusted in there were my um, minimum and maximum yield uh, potentials for for the ores. And I set iron to be between 10 and 20 uh, per per dig to, to yield up. Or scanner was in the box on the no. <laughs> well, it's gone. We'll have to make a new one. <laughs> of course.
course it was on the lander. Stupid. St I should have checked all the all the goodies before I let it go. I think there was a box full of spray paint too that I could have used to recolor all my gear. But, you know, like a fart in the wind, it's gone. Iron, iron, give me all your iron. Hmm. All right, this uh, this little vein seems clear, but I have what was that one, two, three, four, five, six and a bit stacks. So I've got a fair little bit. <laughs> it is really, yes, it is. It's, uh. Well, she's gone, Captain. The fart is still there, just mixed up. <laughs> well, I mean, you could say the f same thing about the lander, uh, because you can't create or destroy matter. It's, uh,. You can simply change its state. So uh, as it flew off and bashed against the Martian landscape and was torn to pieces, its base components are still out there. But, uh, yeah, nothing useful to me at the moment. Who? Uh, hey, y'all think duct tape will fix that? Yeah, the answer's no. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> well, that was a solar panel. Yes, it most certainly was, wasn't it? <laughs> hmm. I know what's wrong with her. She ain't got no gash in it. Uh, I'll I can fix this one, though. It's only bringing me in, you know, a, <laughs> a small amount of power. I forgot to fix it after the previous storm. Uh, yeah, I forgot to fix it after the previous storm. Shoot, that's nice. Rebuild. Can I rebuild? We have the technology. We can rebuild him but we don't want to spend a lot of money. That's how you get the thousand peso man. Uh, is destroyed. Angle grinder to deconstruct. Ew. No. No, you cannot rebuild them. It too, like the fart in the wind, is gone. The holy word of the behind. Okay, well, um, start getting some iron, I guess, uh, and probably take a look at, uh, solar, uh, solar panel. Hmm, is there a, uh, no... Hmm. So what is the heavier solar panel? Uh, solar panel heavy. Yeah, this is what I want. Solar panel heavy. Uh, kit solar panel heavy. Made electronics printer tier 2. How do I get to a tier 2 electronics printer? Uh, electronics printer. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, basic builds. Requirements. Tier 1. Uh, tier 2. How do I make a tier two? Uh, this just... Huh? Oh, never mind. I was like, oh, uh, I was like, oh, God. I was like, where did it go? Uh, it's only got 50. So I need to do another 50. And I'll have 100. Hmm. Is there, like, upgrade kits? 
No upgrade. Um. Upgrade kits in the electronic printer. Oh, it's in the electronics printer. Is it? Well, I typed up in the electronics printer. Yeah, all I get is a uh, windmill upright. Um. Hmm. Where? Tablet dock. Okay, that's cool. So, large wireless chargers, centrifuge things, electronics printer mod. Is this what I need, a mod? Electronics printer mod. I need Electrum Constantin and Solder. Okay, uh, we're not doing that. Um, I will just have to remember to, after every storm, go fully repair our uh, solar farm. Uh... Which leaves the question is, how do I get more duct tape? Um, duct tape made at the tool manufactory. Ah, I should probably put that together. Filter low. Oh, I should also probably... Um, Probably also make a filter, shouldn't I? Uh, filter. Uh, carbon dioxide. We'll make two of these real quick. I have a singular gram of copper. That can go in there. Thank you. Oh, uh, accidentally made three of them. Eh, uh, whatever. Whatever. Alright. Uh, now let's also give... Wait, what happened? Oh, I ran out of power. Um, That's fine. All is fine. Run that for a little bit. Um, I need to get the iron out of you. Thank you. Uh, turn you off. Close your release. Those can go in there. And then iron can go back in there. And what I need out of here first is a... Is a basic chute. Uh, give me one of these. I just need the one. <laughs> Put in the damn battery. Ah, uh, yes. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, but it does mean I need to pull this and put it over this way because power production is going to be out that side. Uh, so I wanted enough resources. Yeah, there we go. To try and do it in one fell swoop, which I don't think I have at the moment. Uh, but we can do. We'll put our uh, our station battery in a little power room inside of here. And then solar farm will be out this way that we'll deal with later. Okay. Uh, I need plates. I need iron plates. Uh, no, that's plastic. I need sheets. Iron sheets is what I need. Pretty later functions now. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, oop. uh... Stack all that up, please. Wait, why did you stop? Oh, because the, the thing backed up. There we go. Give me six for now. Give me these. Uh, I need these. And I mean, eventually need a door, but uh, we will get to that in a, in a while. Uh, also, I should probably... Hmm. Fuel. Uh, I wonder what fuel source this is using. Uh, I could probably just do volatiles. 
uh, through a grinder, capture the gas, and put it into a, like, one of these tanks. Just make a gas tank for it. Might as well go two plates right now. Because we have a, a little bit of iron. Put that away. Put our... Um, need these. I need more heavy wires, though. Uh, I need to go inside, because that's the batteries on the inside. Uh, or make an arc welder. Oh, there's a different kind of welder. Ooh, air. Speaking of air. Oh. Um, oh, what did I just, I need those sheets, please. Battery kits, uh, tractor can go there because we're going to leave them for a little bit. Atmos analyzer, please. Uh, we have a little bit of pollution in here, not a ton. Uh, is thriving towards seeding. Okay, so I don't need to touch those yet. Uh, turn you on for just a minute to uh, to rip out, you know, that pollution that's in the air. Because the pollution isn't good for plants. It's not at a level that's going to bother these yet. But, uh, yeah, if we can avoid it, we shall. Uh, and we're producing more potatoes than we can technically eat at the moment. So I'm going to save the seeds right now and put them to there uh and i'll hold off on on farming more of these uh just for just for the time being yeah because we have uh we still have a little bit of potatoes actually can i oh i can just plant a potato straight up oh okay so that's that's how we, we, um, we expand. Uh, give me these iron sheets back. That's how we expand. Uh, 10 kilograms of steel, electrum, 5 of invar, 10 of solder for the arc water. Oh, okay. Uh, I assume it just, being an arc water, just runs off of batteries. That would be my assumption. Uh, I don't need anything out of there. Um... Put this tape away. Okay. And now, let's go ahead to... No. Since we're in here... Um, since we're in here, let's top off of our... Top off our stats. So, drink. We will... Not have power coming in, so I can't... Run the... Stinking microwave. Uh, okay. Never mind. We will just, uh, head out. Close the helmet. And let's get this battery going. I need more, uh, heavy coil cables. 50 of those. How many more came out? Another. Oh, nice. Alright, so turn you off. Turn you off. Um, yeah, once we get this made, we'll, uh, we'll do a reconfiguration. Uh, but I'm thinking another airlock right here that leads into our workshop. And then this airlock will stay as our temporary hab and grow airlock. Just in case something, you know, catastrophic happens out here and I, I blow up half of the freaking base, uh, which is, which is a possibility. Um, Yeah. Okay, so power in is in the back. Um, power out is up front. So let's do right there. And let's also do wall, wall, wall. Uh, wall will go there, but we'll hold off because that's where I'm going to put the uh, the coal power generator. Uh, 
And I'll also hold off on building all these. So put that away, put those away. What do I need for you? I need welding torch and four iron sheets. Got the welding torch. Got the iron sheets and spades. Uh, now I just need a screwdriver. And there it is. Perfect. Put those up. Screwdriver away. Let's grab our solids generator, which I need a hand drill to pick up. Yes. Perfect. Hand drill to pick up. Uh, while you still have charge, I want you to do coil cable heavy. Just start spitting them out. Uh, and I'll come back and grab them here in a second. Mm. Alright, so that's the power out that'll come in through and plug in over there. Actually, give me an angle grinder, please. Angle grinder. Uh, hand drill. Give me this, because I don't need to access the other side once it's set up. So there. Here. 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 That's power in. This is power out. Thank you. I'll show you off for a second. Oh, oh, oh. Put that there. Uh, we're going to turn you on. Grab a little bit of coal to, to kickstart this whole uh, shebang. Split half. Split half. So we'll start with 12. There we go. So that's power into here. And I take and snake power out through here. Uh, if I pick this back up, I can save a coil, save a cable. Uh, now I should just be able to use these regular cables to go through and then connect up to this should be able to mind you mm, probably should have made more of these regular ones uh, because I'm never running more than one or two of these at at the same time this is taking up the most but uh, honestly isn't taking up all that much uh, I need copper you Close. I'm just going to make... Why did I do that? Why in the world did I do that? Oh. That was cool. Contents. Okay, so I'm out of iron in here? I, no, that would make sense. I, I use it up all on plates. Uh, but, hey, now I've split my, uh, <laughs> my, my copper. That's nice. There we go. I can use you to make regular coil cables as well. We only want a certain amount. Eight, that's fine. Ten, whatever. There we go. You can always put a shoot the entrance if you uh, wall it off. Yeah, I could. Always, uh, you know, bring a shoot over to here so I can throw things in. Look! Phobos or Deimos? One of the two. Hello! Uh, but we got that. 
And there we go. If we turn you on, you should start charging this, which will now push power out this way. But it puts this APC on the wrong side to be a power backup. Um, and means, you know, most of this is useless and redundant. Uh, because the power for this, oh, actually comes in all through here. So I'll probably move this power cable temporarily and then drop it down here. So I can remove all this side of, uh, of the shenanigans that is happening. God, I like the noises. Uh, I know that's only giving me minimal power, but, uh, that's okay. Move the APC way ahead of you, buddy. Buddy old pal, old friend of mine. Yeah, we don't need all these wires. I'll move that battery charger as well. Was it a... I think it's a drill to pick this up? Yeah, it is. It most certainly is. Dang, son. Where'd you get this? Uh, let's put these in here. Put those in there. and We'll finish off that room at a later point. I can go there. There we go. That's fine for temporary because we're going to get ready to move all of these. Uh, actually, we'll wait till we can enclose this room, and then we'll reconfigure all of our, um, all of our, you know, crafting stations. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Why is my guy breathing a little heavier? Mm, looks like a final note to empty that out. Hmm. Maybe it's because I was jumping and running about. Yeah, whatever. All right, uh, let's put this APC in line. We're just going to put it right here. Uh, I'll eventually put a, a, a thing there because I, I like how it looks better. Uh, requires support. Oh, uh, so I need to put one there now. Uh, how about you turn on? Wait, why can't you act... Oh, wait, I broke the... Huh. Why can't it activate? Because you unplugged everything, Greedy. <sighs> That's why it can't activate. There you go. Make some iron. Actually, you probably already had a bit of iron in you, didn't you? 17 grams. Uh, put that in there. Um, I was going to make a iron frame. Just start making me whatever that 17 grams will give me, which is not a lot, I know. Like that. Doom, doom. Probably run you. And you can make one more. Why not? Why not? There we go. Close that. Open you up. Shut you down as well. Give me these. That's better. At that, I need some of my Iran plates. That'll work just fine. I should now be able to... I uh, should now be able to snip out a section of this right there. And place the APC back in line. That way. Like that. Yeah, now I got the symbol on the right way too. Woo! Uh, we can 
crowbar that bad boy open. We can put that in. This will draw power out of this. And we'll turn it on. Yeah. The little battery will draw power out of this big battery, which in turn draws power out of this, and will eventually draw power out of our solar farm, which will start at about this block. We'll go over this way, probably two, and then this way, three, we'll go this way, four. So that'll give us a seven frame wide, um, seven frame wide, you know, platform. And then we'll come back five, I think. And that'll be a five by seven platform for us to put a bunch of solar on. Um, it's probably much larger than I need at this point in time. Uh, but if I can lay the groundwork right now, I mean, why not? Why not? Why not my not? <laughs> because freezing's the reason. That goes in there. You know, I'm thinking about it. Is there, um... There are steel frames. It's probably more cost-effective resource-wise if I did steel frames, which are two grams of steel. Oh, God, that's way more cost-effective than the iron. Y'all were letting me build out of iron frames? Steel frames are incredibly more cost effective are you versus the the four grams or the five gram or what what were regular iron frames are four grams of iron versus two grams of steel Because it's a three to one ratio, so yeah, it's literally twice as good. Because for for this, I could get I could get that uh, make some steel. I have a like a hundred some odd steel in here. Um, speaking of which, though, uh, I should probably do. Can I do another kit battery? Yes, I can. We'll do another kit battery. And then whatever steel is left over, which is going to be 120 grams of steel. Um, that's far more cost effective that way. Give me that. That can go in there. You can go off. You can go off because I still need iron for other things. So it's not bad that I... Uh, it's a steep learning curve. That it is. That it freaking is. But I love it. It's fun. Ooh, that's going to take a little while to build. Oh, <laughs> Oh, we got it. Uh, but while that does that, let's, um... Ooh, these are the, the big cube boys. Um, let's see if we can't... One, two, three. Uh, I need two to fill into here, but I want to move all of this. Uh, but I don't want to move it just yet. Uh, I want to probably make a load of of steel, which means I need to do a mining run, uh, because I don't have enough iron to make the, the full set like I want. Uh, yeah, if you don't have iron, uh, how do you get the creases out of your shirts? <laughs> oh, how true, how true. Uh, probably with steam. Steam works great to get creases out. That's, um, that's what the dry cleaners do. X4 learning curve is about the same. Ooh. Uh, not an insurmountable challenge, but, uh, definitely a challenge. Hmm, maybe I'll have to look into that more. Uh, so we have gold. We have... I could probably smelt my gold... Uh, using what's left of the pressure when I make my load of steel. But we need to go out and get more iron first. Because uh, I have... So a load of 50 coal to 150 iron would give me 200 grams of steel, which is at 2 grams per sheet, or per uh, cube, is 100 
um, of these. A hundred little cube boys. Yeah. Get up. Ah, battery. Turn you off. Let's go ahead and... We'll just marry these up right next to each other. That's fine. Oh, wait, no. I need iron sheets, and I need a welding torch. And then I need screwdriver, and you're done. And I put those right next to each other, knowing full well there's a freaking switch in there I needed to flip. I just like to suffer. That's what I like. What do I need? A angle grinder. And I need a wrench. That's, that's what I like to do. I like to suffer. See, I was just testing y'all. I was testing all of you. That's what I was doing. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Hunger caution. Hunger caution. All right, that's fine. There we go. Now I have two batteries. That'll get charged off of that guy. Uh, stack them. Yeah, stacking. Oh, I could have stacked them, couldn't I? Um, it'll be okay for now. Uh, because eventually I'll probably want more than just the two batteries. I think two is. Actually, no, we'll do it now. We'll stack them now. Uh, because two is gonna last me a. An incredible amount of time. Do that. Uh, yeah, two's gonna last me quite some time. What was it? Oh, it was a hand drill. Hand drill. Then an angle grinder. And then a... I think it's a wrench now. Yeah, it's wrench. Wrench, 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 wrench. There we go. Do that. Oh. Oh, it just floats? Hmm. You say that now? <laughs> I do say that now. Uh, why does it float? I don't like that. Is there a shelf I can build to put this thing on? Hmm. I definitely am not a fan of a floaty McGee here. Uh, da, 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 this. Uh oh. Ah, there we go. She's gonna stand on the corner. Come on. Hmm. How do. Actually, let's do half of this. We'll do 19 in there. Uh, that'll probably charge this to full and most of that. Uh, it's held up by wires. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm walling this off. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to have to look at that. Um, iron walls. Ooh, actually, if I do it that way, it's going to have the ugly side. It's going to have this side out. Uh, and I'd rather that be inside if it's something I'm I'm constantly looking at uh, which of these windows wall type one looks 
Oh, all of these iron walls look crummy. That's why they're heavy tape cables. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's what they meant by heavy cables. But, alas. And if I do this one, it's facing the other direction. So let's grab it as well. Do that. Then I do have this weird little lip thing here, but um, honestly, not the end of the world for this. Um, that away. Get these. That'll I'll get to eventually. You know, walling off the this backside of everything. Uh, put a window. No, I don't want to see this. That defeats the point. Uh, you might be able to put a display to show the total charge. Uh, ooh, yeah, I could probably do that. Um, huh. We'll have to we'll have to look into that in a in a minute. Uh, but for now, we want to get the steel so we can continue uh, with all of our other shenanigans uh, downrange. Uh, I have. A few volatiles on me. I still have oxite on me. Um, more than enough to make up a, a batch or two of steel. Uh, we just need the proper resource. I should probably drop off a bunch of stuff. I'll drop off a bunch of stuff. I'll grab the tracking chip just in case I'm out longer than I intend to, which seems to be a... Um, a normal occurrence with me. Uh, it's tool belt, mining belt. Already has a bit of iron, which we're just going to place here for now. Let's go inside. Oh, yeah, you're not linked up to the power grid anymore, are you? Because your power was coming in from over here. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Give me this. Uh, we'll deal with that once we're back, but for now, this will give me a couple of cycles here. I'll just cancel the pressurization. Shut you off. Ooh, hi. Uh, how'd you know I was coming in here to see you? Also, potato seeds. There we go. Back up to three potato seeds. And potatoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I figured. None of this inside of here is connected up either. So, uh... Can I eat that straight up raw potato? Oh, I can. Oh, it doesn't give me a lot. Okay, uh, noted. Um, I've learned. Oh, wait, this did bake. Oh, god dang it. Okay. Eat that. Um, keep potato on us. Power you off. Okay, so this stuff is drawing power from... Or this stuff is, rather. Because it connects up to that set of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, let's have a drink. And we don't have to worry about any of this for a minute whilst we're out. Tracker is on. Tracking chip in hand. And installed into our guy. Leave the Atmos analyzer. Wire the front two from the solar panel. Oh, yeah, the solar panel could get connected up. Uh, that's... Okay for the moment. Because uh, once we get back with the uh, with the steel, we can process it up and get everything else too. Uh, no, the uh, water and microwave... Oh wait, they might be hooked up directly. You might be right. Um... No, yeah, you're right. 
you're entirely right. I am, I am foolish. I need to wire this over and down into that. Is what I should do. Um, ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Anyone see? Oh, I was like, where did my thing go? Whoops. Let's go like this. We'll just run along the edge here. It's like we're an edge runner. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up. Okay, put that back and put that back. Close that. And we'll empty out our inventory a bit. Of that, of that. Um, I should probably hook this up in somewhere, but we're just going to leave that there. It's fine. And we're going to go after iron. Iron and coal. Coal's right there, so we're going to ignore it for a minute. And we're just going to run off in this direction. Uh, looking for that sweet, sweet hematite. Uh, oh, silver. Okay. Um, copper. We're okay on copper for the moment. There's some gold here that's good to know. Uh, more gold. Even better to know that there's multiple sources here. Uh, more copper. Okay. <laughs> Just had to make sure the tracker was working. Um, copper, coal... More gold. All right, so gold isn't so bad. It looks like silver's rarer than gold. What is this? Cobalt, I think. Yeah, cobalt. Uh, ah, iron. I don't have a use for cobalt just yet, so we'll leave it in the interest of keeping our inventory um, cleared and ready for this sweet, sweet iron. Now look at that. We've already got enough iron to. Uh, to work for another little while. Oop. Two, three, four, five stacks. Five stacks of iron, and I can do another five. Uh, I should see if there's a bigger, um, a bigger mining belt, uh, or even just a bigger backpack in general. I should, uh, I should look into that. Iron. Thank you. More iron. Uh, a bit of gold. Why not? We're here. It's not the end of the world if we grab some gold. Gold from the iron hole. And iron from the gold hole. What's the world coming to nowadays? Mining backpack. Yeah, that sounds like what I want. I can get... Oop, god dang it. Of course it did. Um... Oh, wait, hold on. I can actually keep going a little. Alright. Alright, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll call that. Ah! Give me that. All right, to home. This way. Mining backpack holds a little more, just a bit more. I mean, even a bit more is um. Wait till he finds the heavy drill. I want a heavy drill. Hopefully it mines a bigger swath of area. That'd be nice. I'm sure it requires something crazy like some of that. The, the, what was the the Electrum or the Invar air tank? Ooh, air tank is low. Hmm. I should prioritize. Uh, I should prioritize um. Getting my airlock 
uh, hooked back up power-wise. Oh, god dang it. I can't go that way. Um... Oh wait, I could probably I could just tie in here. What am I doing? There. And now my uh now my airlock's tied back in. And I can just leave it on. Uh because we have the big mattress. We're having uh, less waste. Yeah, just cancel. Ooh! Get away. You're gonna hurt me. You said Tita. Oh, look at that! All right, um, I'll take our Atmos analyzer, put the tracker back, the Atmos analyzer back in. All right, mm -hmm. uh, I needed my air tank. Let's open up our, our helmet. Charge our air tank back up. Air tank critical. Air tank critical. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, let's close that. Let's close that just so we have some things prettied up in here. Uh, I do have another pair of lockers. Uh, okay, so there are different locker types. Uh, overhead locker. Okay. Locker, locker small, shelf, shelf medium, hmm, shouldn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I won't set any of these up yet, uh, until I'm ready to do a bunch of base organization. Hmm. Oh, also see my. Oh yeah, damages. Mm. I'll have to uh, make a backup suit eventually. But for now, oop. what's her helmet? For now, though, let's go out here. All right, that's good. We wanted to make a steel. So if I take. 50 of this, this would be nice. And this is nice that we do it at night uh, because it's negative 32, which means six, our, um, our stuff isn't gonna, gonna melt away. So it's a one to two ratio. Um, for every, oh God, what was it? Um, Furnace, uh, kit furnace, yep, da da da, makes a furnace, uh huh. It's, okay, so for every one oxide, it's two volatiles. Okay, so I can do, uh, so that would be two oxide to four volatiles. Two, we can go oxide, activate this bad boy, volatiles, that'll start getting us. Oop, activate. There we go. That's temp and pressure. Uh, probably wanted more volatiles, but that's enough to do at least this load of steel. So it's going to be 150 iron. To 50 uh, coal, which is our hydrocarbon, which will give us 200 grams of steel. Yep, there it is. 200 grams of steel. Go ahead and close that. Uh, thank you for the steel. Put that away, and let's get some gold. Because uh, that should just, yeah, go straight to ingot form. There we 
go. Uh, this way we have just spare gold on hand, and we can just do copper as well. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to touch that. I wanted to wait. Oh, hey. Little guy in there. AI You live in a sea and I don't know what that word is. What you mean, story? Sir William. What is the meaning of this? Mm. Yeah, let's just do another stack of gold. Uh, cause we need that for, you know, the heavy cables and just a bunch of other miscellaneous, like, parts and things. And then we'll do a bit of just regular iron as well. So a bit of iron there. Uh, 50 stack. Actually, I should have just used what I had. 50. 50. Gold, 50. Yep. Do that. And... F1 it. Um, Amy. Oh, Amy bot! Oh, Amy. Hello. Uh, designed by presumably drunk. Norsec Robotics. Amy, or Automated Independent Machine Entity, can be a stationer's best friend, or tiresome nemesis, or both several times in the same day. Intended to unearth and retrieve ores automatically, the unit requires basic programming knowledge to operate an IC editor motherboard. Amy has seven modes, do nothing, follow nearest player, Move to target in straight line. Wander around looking for ores in 15... 15 cords radius. I wonder how... What, what they classify their cords as. Um, unload in shoot input or shoot bin within 3 meters. 1.5 large grids. Uh, oh, Amy... Uh, oh, hold on, I'm still doing iron. Give me iron. Give me that. Temperature's too low to work steel now. I think it needs to be over 900 Kelvin. Uh, but just this regular iron can go in here because I need, you know, other shenanigans. I probably could have gone here for plates or sheets. Sheets. Uh, yeah, they're just iron sheets. I don't do steel sheets. Um, but we can do steel frames. Oh, there are steel sheets. Never mind. Tell a lie. Tell a lie. Uh, let's start with the 200 grams of steel we have here. And just make me a bunch. Oop, turn you on. Make me a bunch of, uh, steel frames you will love and hate it when you get there <laughs> i'm certain i will oh, close that uh what are we looking at um 15.1 megapascals uh and 841 kelvin uh probably best just to off vent this this is going to push me around uh because i'm not going to be able to use it at the moment um i need more volatiles anyways Mmm, warm air. 440 degrees Celsius. Lovely. Yeah, definitely don't want that to happen indoors. So when I enclose this, uh, this is going to get snaked outside to off gas. Obviously, the control will be inside. And I'll have to do something about um, any liquids that potentially accumulate in here as well. So... Uh, 
Just leave it open and feed all ores into it. Uh, it's still, yeah. It's still fine. Uh, but I want to save some ore. Um, because I plan on making a whole load more, um, steel. Uh, I'll probably just throw this into here. And like that. Until he uses an advanced furnace. Ooh, I'm, uh... I'm still daunted by this furnace. Um, I think I'll be, I think we'll hold off for the moment on using any advanced furnace. Um, give me this, uh, cause I want to test. No, I don't want to put that there just yet. Uh, I do want to come over here. Ah. One, two. And then we're going to go for the other direction. One, two, three, four. And then the assumption I have is they use the steel sheets uh, for arbitrary reasons. Uh, requires steel sheets in hand. Yep. All right, cool. That's what I figured it did. That's what I figured. Uh, you can feed it iron ingots instead of iron ore to make the steel. Oh, I did not know that. Um, we'll hold the telephono then. I do want you closed. Okay, you still have enough. Um, let's close you just to maintain pressure. Oh, you're not hot enough to... No. Hmm... Uh, what if I get a volatile? Uh, we got volatiles right here. I have oxide. Uh, we'll just try and add one volatile. What was that? Oh, it off-gassed immediately. God dang it. I was afraid of that. All right, so then we will. <clears throat> uh, See if we can't just feed you the one. Here. There we go. Can we... No, I do need the oxite. There we go. Be fast about it. Yeah, there we go. That raises temperature. Uh, produce 100 iron ingots now. Perfect. All right, swap that back over to here. Did I drop iron ore over there just now? I think I did. I think that I did. Melted on you? Yeah, I did. I've got a bunch of hydrogen on me. Oh, no. I could have swore I had another set of 50 on me that I didn't put. Maybe I, uh, maybe I'll put it somewhere else. Uh, but this will give me, yeah, 150. This is what I want. So 150, so I have 50, 100, uh, another 20. Hmm. All right, so if I get a set of 50 and this 150 here, uh, do that. Mm, yeah, do that for now. Nickel. Arning is a kappa. You are still plugging away. Yeah, you've got a long way to go. Uh, actually, I'm going to stop you. Give me what's in here. Uh, that's 28 plus what I've got. That puts me at... Th oh, steel frames only stack to 30. Ooh, interesting. Uh, but that gives me 36 frames. It's good enough to start with. Um, we're going to do steel sheets. All right. Uh, this will produce me a lot. Uh, 
Now a full stack of coal equals steel. Yeah, that's uh, that was a good call. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, also, I should probably move this elsewhere. Uh, probably right here for now. Oh, oh, storm. Not cool, game. Uh, those can go there for now. Ah, push against the storm. They feel like they're coming more frequently. Increase the stack size to a hundred. Yeah. That'll give us a little bit of time. Uh, wire in the top battery. Um, wire your, oh, right, 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 right. I didn't connect the um, the outputs of the batteries in, did I? Oh, right, right, right. Uh, oh, I need the uh, the heavy cables. Oh, no, I don't. I use the uh, the regular ones here. Good call. There we go. Now that'll pull as well. Perfect. That's the third storm in the stream. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. They're coming so much more frequently. It's trying to get rid of my no death streak. Or it's trying to tell me to enclose this room quickly. Uh, but I want a, a ton of... Um, Ton of these steel things first. And since we can work off of those for a while, we'll hold off on making the solar farm at the moment. And what we'll do instead is enclose the workshop, and then we can reorganize what's in here. Um, so what I want to do is expand it out that way. One. We had some hot air to the, the storm. Uh, yeah, we'll bleed off all the pressure. It knows you played with its files. Oh, come on, game. The files were practically begging for me to play with them. I mean, those minuscule org yields that it gave me. It just... It was just taunting me. Drawing me in ever closer. Saying, there's an experience waiting for you, Greedy. It practically begged me to play with its files. Content. Uh, <clears throat> pressure is still up there at uh, 3 point what odd megapascals. Megapascules. Blah, 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 blah. More ores for more storms, I guess. Uh, I'll take that trade, though. I will certainly take that trade off. Um, yeah, I think this is worth it. At this rate, yeah, you might as well make wind turbines. <laughs> uh, it would have probably been nice. Um, I don't know. Ooh! Don't jump in the storm. Noted. Give me this first set of 50. Perfect. Oh, they're damaged. Oh, no. I don't like that. They sat in the damage, 30%. Ew. That's not cool. Can I duct tape them? Ooh. Uh, let's, uh... Let's, where did I put those? Yeah. I don't like that they're damaged. Um, hmm. I didn't think the, the component pieces could be damaged until they were put together. Ooh, that is something to note. I uh, might want to close that then. And shut you off whilst we're, uh, we're in the midst of this storm. And I could probably... Uh, I don't want to pull up this yet. I can pull up this furnace... 
uh, requires hand drill. We can pull up the arc furnace. Uh, it requires a wrench. We'll pull up this. And then it requires a hand drill for you. Pull up this. And we can get ready to start reconfiguring uh, all of our goodies. <clears throat> yes, yes. What do we got here? Uh, 200 kilopascals. That's good. I'm not going to open this chute until the storm finishes here. But that'll... Oh. I'll tell you what we will do. We'll go inside and have a drink of water. Eat a bit of our potato, as it were. Nom 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 Um Water Ah delicioso Uh oh right I ate the other potato draw That's okay cause these guys are on their way this is thriving towards seeding. Yay! These guys are good to go. Vundava. They're on. Uh, we haven't disturbed this, have we? Uh, we got a bit of pollutant in here. Uh, CO2's up. Nitrogen is down a little. Uh, that's due to the plants. Um... So, we'll probably want to figure out an automated system for, um, which can probably just be, you know, like a portable scrubber or something like this, um, to, and we'll just open the vent, uh, to scrub the CO2 every so often. Probably an, at, a gas sensor, uh, to sense CO2 to a logic circuit to come out and activate, not this one, but a, a a stationary one, not the portable boy. Uh, and then that will allow us to automate when we sent CO2 levels rise to, we'll call it about what it is now, uh, or to about 7.5%. Um, and then it'll, you know, it'll filter those out. Programming and an Atmo. Yeah. Furnace, uh, we have these frames. Still waiting on the storm to end. We've taken our first shower too, so that was uh was interesting. I <laughs> definitely need some uh need some space in here. Airtime critical. Mm. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do a little bit of, um, swap out for, give me the nitrous for one of my CO2s. Uh, we'll filter a bit of this in here, and then we'll use some nitrice. We turn this on. Let this filter this for a little bit. So we're below four and a half percent um carbon dioxide <clears throat> Oop. all right stop that now because once we backfill the room with pressure from the nitrice it's going to drop that percentage more so about six pieces yep it gives us that nitrogen i knew it was going to be there Oh, wait, I have the nitrogen filter. Uh, I meant to swap those out like that. Ooh, ah, stop it. You're pulling all my CO2. Ooh, CO2 is a little lower than I would like it to be. Ooh, my. Uh, it's not 
detrimentally low to the uh, to the plants, so we'll leave it because those are going to build up a bit into the atmosphere here. Uh, but we do want all this um, nitrous out of the air. So we'll leave this running for a little bit. Uh, but the storm does seem to be over. Mm, I don't want to leave this running permanently. It's going to needlessly kill this battery. Which will actually probably be dead soon anyhow. Uh, six, actually, no. It won't. Uh, yeah, no, we'll wait here. Once all this uh, nitrous is out, we can then go off and uh, we can grab the rest of our steel plates and we can probably make a uh, better nitrous over in this corner. Uh, steel walls and use those plates and walls. Uh, make a couple of doors for an additional airlock. Um, and then have those. So we can run out and go, uh, go do, do things. Get the rest of this. All right, we're good there. Get over in this corner. And we're good over here. Perfect. Put that away. All right. Let's cycle out. Oxygen Ooh, low. helmet. Ah. Oxygen critical. I was doing so good. Uh, and we'll go ahead and open our EVA canister. Uh, close that. There we go. So I need iron frames for these. I'm going to need steel for these. Uh, this should be yep, equalized to the atmosphere. Do, 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 do. Put the still frames, uh, the basic shoots there, and let's grab up this stuff. Give me all these. There we go. I can go in there for now. Uh... You do know your solar is on the wrong side of the bats? Yes, I do. I am aware. Uh, but it's not going to stay there um, long term. Once I get this area enclosed, uh, I do plan to grab this and move it over to here because I'll put a roof on here. And then that basic one can sit on top of here and it'll drop down onto this side. Uh, but for now, what little solar is produced by this uh, does still go to feed some of this stuff and off put um, whatever's happening here uh, which really doesn't say anything because this is already fully charged so is that APC in there uh, and these batteries are still sitting quite high so uh, I don't need to actually run anything for a little bit uh, actually speaking of running things uh, I'm about to do a lot of welding uh, this will uh, I think I started when it starts. This is at maybe 4,000. So I should be able to do quite a bit of welding here. Uh, I do want to take this down, angle grinder. That's going to give me steel, isn't it? Or iron plates, yep. Iron sheets. There we go. Uh, crowbar to deconstruct. Oop. Hey, my, uh, my light finally died. That took a while. Mm, now we'll just replace it with this, uh, one here, because that'll charge as these discharge. Putting this back, it's already at 6%. Yeah. There we go, and we have our furnace back. Furnace there. Plates there. And this is all full like crazy. I should have grabbed the uh, extra things from the inside whilst I was in there. Oh, and there's a wall that divides these that I could have took down as well. 
Hmm. Uh, actually, give me iron sheets. Give me steel frames. I will use up these iron sheets for those. And I want to push these two, so I want to go back here. And shut you off. Open you up. I do wonder about these that are down to 30 that are down 30 percent uh, okay so that looks a little beefier than the iron ones uh so i'm not too chuffed about the uh the aesthetics there plus i can probably do something about the flooring to make it a little prettier Uh, later on, set up a greenhouse full of CO2, have the plants um, convert it to O2. Uh, you can filter the O2 into the tank and use it. Oh, uh, what's probably busted? The solar panel? No, it's uh, still okay. Uh, I'll use the rest of this duct tape to, uh, to get it a little healthier, but uh, it'll survive one storm, and it was 100% before the last one rolled through, so... There's that. Um, put the arc furnace away. Put the uh, stacker away for now. And let's keep... I have steel sheets on me. Let's keep a set of... Oh, do I have... I do have a set of iron sheets. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, give me this. All right, this makes it one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four for the interior of here. Um, if I go one more row, I could have a five by five, which will let me space out the workshop a bit more. Um, I don't really need access to the back side of these. So it's not like that's... Um, that's a huge issue. Uh, but might as well, uh, because I'm sure there's something later down the road um, we can do with the space. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, steel, and then give me my welding torch. If I put my other stuff away. Huh? Stack them. Stack the machine. Oh, no. Last time I listened to you about stacking things, I ended up with this. Whatever this black magic is. Or this evil wizardry. No. No verticality. All horizontal expansion. What, are you worried about land rights out here? Now, let me ask the neighbors real quick if it's okay if I... <laughs> Do the thing. <laughs> okay. Um, I need iron sheets for these ones. Uh, I do need this set welded. There we go. I can leave these unwelded for now because the voxels in the ground are airtight uh, watch out for the worms <laughs> they can sense the vibrations that kind of looks like the back of something cresting out of the dunes uh, but I did want an airlock uh, so if the wall comes up to here I'd need the airlock either here or I'd need to enclose this up further uh, but I think I'm happy to put the airlock here. Uh, run wires under and over to have my controls and things on this side. Atmospheric sensor just there. 
uh, as it gets powered from that. Yeah, I'd be happy for this. Um, I will draw the power from here to go to another APC so this APC doesn't try to feed this APC to feed another AP. Just, you know, cascades down the, down the row. And speaking of APC, um... Uh, kit power controller. Here we go. That needs iron and solder. Oh, no. Power low. Uh, an ingot of solder. Uh, I can make in a... Okay, I can make in a tier 1 furnace. I need a temperature of 350 Kelvin to 550 Kelvin. Ooh. So solder is like something I make after I make a load of steel. Uh, pressure needs to be between 1 and 100 megapascals. Oh. Okay, that's uh, that's fairly generous on the, uh, the pressure front. Temperature, though, yeah, solder is definitely something you make after I do like a set of steel or something. Uh, and seeing as I already ripped down the furnace, we'll wait to do the proper airlock. And instead, we'll get a faux building set up. Um, S-T-E-E. -E. Uh, steel frames. I don't have any uh, kit wall. Kit arched wall. Kit flat wall. Kit iron wall. Kit wall none. Wall padded. What's, uh... What's the difference here? Geometric wall? Is this just like a pattern on the wall? Or is... Or are these actual different shapes? And I can build something interesting here. Uh, that takes a singular gram of steel. Let's, uh... No, no. Let's run that once. And there we go. Let's grab that. Let's see. So we have a composite window, composite wall. Okay, so these are cleaner looking than the iron ones. Hmm. Uh... They're not great looking, though. Uh, but if I put, like, there. What would I need to... To complete you? Uh, two plastic sheets required. Okay. You probably don't have a... Actually, that looks kind of nice. Hmm. Wall. Uh, no. Let's say kit wall. Kit wall, stackable size of 30. Um, auto ignition at 1.47 kilokelvin. It's 1200 degrees self centigrade. Uh, so I'm fine on that. Uh, I wouldn't use it for the furnace room, but that's fine. Flashpoint is 973 Kelvin or 700 C. Um, so it doesn't... Okay. So that's kit wall. Kit wall iron. <clears throat> Makes all these other iron walls. Um, max pressure. Oh, the other one didn't have a max pressure on it. Auto ignition is at 300 degrees C. Ooh. That's less than the composite wall. Flashpoints, 300. Oof. Yeah, we uh, don't want to use iron walls then. Geometric walls have... Okay, so they're just a bunch of different patterns. Uh, so it still builds a box, basically. Wall, geometry, corner. Mm, looks like composite walls are... 
are best uh, flashpoint wise. Kit wall, flat wall. Mm, actually, this is pretty good. These flat walls. Wall flat. 300 kilopascals. Uh, small arrows. Oh, hey, these are... Okay, so we can do a bit of uh, design and shaping and looks in here. Small panels. Uh, we'll probably just do the flat for now. Auto ignition. Yeah, we'll probably do these, these walls for now. Uh, so if we do wall... Kit wall, so we'll do the flat walls then. Actually, uh, padded. Padded wall, no border. Uh, requires a steel sheet. 300 kilopascals. Mm, they're all more or less the same, just other than design. Uh, so we're going to go with flat walls. So we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 plus a 5 by 5 plus 25 gives us 38 minimum. So 38, 39, 40 in two doors. So we'll let this stack up to... A set of 50 and that'll be that'll be good for us for now let's put that away put that away yeah a set of 50 and then we can start rearranging things uh, batteries are just fine Uh, looks like my potatoes are doing so well. Yep, yep. Uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, you're gonna take a minute to do that. So let's let's go inside and uh, deal with our potatoes. I'm not waiting for that. Uh, is growing towards seeding. Uh, this is already seeded. Perfect. One, two, and plant one back. One can go in there. No. We still magical bowl, huh? We have a potato. 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 Eat the. Potato. Perfect. All right. Uh, so now that we're doing fairly well on that front, I got four potato seeds. Uh, I may even... Actually, we're not set up to do anything more complex than what we're doing. Uh, I was thinking about doing um, wheat if I can make bread. Uh, hmm. But yeah, we'll probably just stick with the potatoes for now. And did I leave my... I did. I left the fridge outside. Uh, oh, wait. No, this is a big cube. I can't take it out. As is this. Uh, but if I swapped out that piece out here for a wall, even if I did it facing, you know, on the other end, I could then take out this, uh, this frame and whatnot. Uh, oh, no. I'd have to do a roof as well. Uh, otherwise I'd bleed everything that's in here. So, yeah, maybe we'll, we leave that like it is for now. I'll tell you what we will do. We'll take these lockers. Take the lockers. Uh, I need water. Drink away. There we go. Put that in. God, I love that sound. I like all the sound effects in this game that are... They're act they're super great. Especially all the little building sound effects. The cluk cluk the 
of, you know, cutting all the wires and putting things together. Ha, huh, get wall frames, 30. Beautiful. Uh, so the box, the side with the green box is the pretty looking side. Panel large. Uh, I think I'm just going to do flat around. Uh, and not try to make any sort of uh, fanciness happen. And I might want an airlock going out this way as well. So I'll make cut out. And in fact, I will cut out this one that we just put in. Give me that. Give me this. There we go. Because that's, uh, yeah, that's the center. And I like things to be symmetrical. Ooh. Actually, we'll, um... We'll enclose this as well. I didn't account for this, uh, but I'd rather it be in here. Do, do, do. Like that. And then, you know, However many more of this it's making. What's that, another? Ooh, 23. I think that's more than we need. 23, 24. Yeah, let's, um... Panel, we were doing flats. This is going to be a very sterile-looking room when we're done here. And this will be the airlock that leads the outside. I'll put a manual door here just to be able to seal this room off. Uh, but it's fine just to be, you know, an open one that we can uh, just walk through because the temperature will bleed through as well. So I've got my soup battery. Mm. That's where the paint comes in. Yeah, you mean the paint that blew away with my uh, with my lander? That one? That 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 paint? <laughs> uh, I know I can make more, but <laughs> it just uh, it tickles me that everything I've needed, pretty much this stream, blew away with the lander. Uh, what do I need for uh, for this stuff? It's, uh, is it orange? No, it's probably plastic sheets, right? Ooh, no, it's not. Uh, steel sheets. Uh, to continue construction. Okay. Uh, I have steel sheets. Oh, let's use these, uh, damage steel sheets first. Oh, god dang it. Now both of these stacks have damage in them. Son of a... Whatever, I'm about to use them all up anyhow. Ooh, yeah, this room's gonna be tough to look at, isn't it? Oh yeah, this, this is gonna be a very, very rough room to look at. <laughs> Don't stare directly at the walls, people. It's gonna hurt your eyes. crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room full of rats. Rats? Rats make me crazy. Ooh, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> yeah, once we get these buttered up against the walls, though, it'll, uh, it'll block out quite a bit of this, this whiteness. Um, yeah, because this is, this is a bit overbearing, isn't it? Need some windows? Um, actually, yeah, that would be a, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Let's, um, let's knock out two, three, window, two, three, do a window, 
there aren't um Are there? Give me the angle grinder. I'm wondering, is there a cuz I know we have oh, Wait, why aren't you rotating? Um This one just stays up. Uh, it does not rotate. Oh, here it goes. Hmm. But that's not a window. Large panel flat, arrows, pane. Huh? Uh, windows plating. Wall plating. Small panels and hatch. No. We want... Hmm. Is there not a uh, window window? Get reinforced windows. Uh, takes two steel. Let's make one of those and see what happens. Ninety, hundred. There we go. that in there. Uh, composite steel, padded, thin. Composite. Hmm. What does this look like when we, when we build it up here? I need plastic sheets to continue. Okay. We, uh, we have plastic sheets somewhere. Yeah, here we go. And I'm sure it's gonna want glass, right? Uh, stellite glass sheet. Uh, excuse me. What's a stellite glass sheet? Uh, well, not ready for that. Uh, so I have this thing now. Plastic sheet goes there. And then this can come into me. Okay, so not this window that I now have just hanging out. Uh, so not windows. So I know the iron wall has those big window things. Is there not a different window style? is the question. Uh, window. <clears throat> window shutter. Ooh, that makes me think these windows are gonna get damaged. Uh, wall padded window. Uh, reinforced window thin. I don't care about the reinforce. Iron window, composite window, uh, shoot window. Um. I guess we'll just go wall padded window or composite window, which should be wall. So padded wall. Yeah, we'll make a one, two, and we'll do a couple in the ceiling. So one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Yeah, let's make six. We can do four in the ceiling, two on either walls. That'll give us a bunch of natural light. That was one, two. I wonder if I can grab it before it goes through. Nope, that's three. This will be four. Then five. Uno mas. Hit the arrow so it stops. <clears throat> yeah. Give me. Here we go. Wall padding, padded arch. Arch width. 
Oh, light fitting. Interesting. I can attach walls or things to those. Thin, no border, windowed. Here we go. So one window goes there. One window goes there. And then let's cut them in. Yeah, on these one blocked inner pieces. Uh, so we can go here, here, and here. So, yep, that one. This one. This one. And this one. And that should give me a fair little bit of natural light. Uh, steel sheets can go there. Perfect. And then padded walls. See, 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 see. Uh, build it first to see them. Oh, uh, we'll pass that. <laughs> Ooh. Tigrain, what's going on? Hello, welcome in. Hi, what are you pressing to rotate? Uh, it sounds so nice. Uh, I'm pressing C. I'm pushing the C key to rotate. Uh, you can also use the, the home and end buttons to rotate, as is denoted there on the um, right-hand side of the screen for the tooltips. So you can use all of those to, to rotate and roll and do all that stuff. Uh, but if you just continuously tap C, it gives that nice little brain tickle of the, uh, of the ticks as it rotates through all of uh, the positions from where you're relative to where you're you're looking so yeah i'm just pressing c uh oh one of these oh that one has its thing there we go okay so what do i need to continue building these i'm assuming steel sheets um i have steel sheets on me Steel sheets and then likely glass of some sort. I'm hoping just, you know, straight up regular glass. It is perfect. Also, it breaks up the uh, the flatness of these walls. that kind of like the hex pattern when you get right up on it and this will be uh this will be an airlock uh let's go ahead and drop down a thing there put those away and we'll weld this up but this will be an airlock in and out of this section to lead into here and this right here will be an airlock out of this section going to power so airlock leading to our solar farm airlock leading to our hydroponics that'll set up one two three four probably right in here will be our big hydroponics uh dome-ish area uh, you might want to look at the border and pattern on the walls Hmm? It's up and down. It's left, all right. Oof. Um, this one is rotated differently. I don't like that. Um, I need to put away a bunch of stuff, don't I? Um, kit wall. No, I can stack these. Put the passive vent in there. Speaking of vents and things, I can just make another locker. I have the things on me. Mm. 
Let's put this away. I need the crowbar to pull these out. Uh, this is the one I want to change. There we go. And then I want to grind it down. Padded, padded window thin like that. There we go. And now this is done. Perfect. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yes. All right, so those are fine. That's, you know, a little annoying that they're bumped down like that, but it's whatever. That's fine. This is because this wall is different. And honestly, it it vexes me that it's that way, but uh, whatever. That's that iron wall. I do need to finish up the bits here. Yeah. There we go. And then I need a flat wall for this. Ooh, actually, no. Uh, we have a few iron ones left. Uh, I want the... Uh, I want the window that comes with, uh, with these iron windows. There we go. Then I think it's an iron sheet, and then... Yeah, it's an iron sheet, and then the thing. Uh, put that back. Iron sheets. Uh, the window by the lockers is vertical uh, and opposite is horizontal. This window, right? Verticals. Oh, that one is horizontal. Alright, so I gotta swap that one out then. <laughs> oh, I caught the one on the roof. I did not catch that one though. Thank you. I would have noticed that later down the road and been incredibly upset uh, let's give me this what the oh this didn't have its oh this hadn't I hadn't put glass in this one yet I was like why was that so simple to deconstruct Uh, window thin. Like that. After you were pressurized? Yeah, that's exactly when I would have noticed. After everything was set and done. And I... <laughs> I had moved all of the benches and things. And everything in here was good. I would have then noticed that these were the wrong way around. Wait, what the... Wait, why is that one up and these ones aren't? Oh, can I, I just make, I want to make them all look like that. What? Oh, God dang it. Ah. Uh, crowbar. I want to, I didn't know I could, I didn't even notice that. Oh, I see why. I understand. Thank you, Mr. President. Anyone see where the... Oh, did I? I just took out the one that... I just took out the one that was fine. should be like that, I do believe. And then it's 
Still sheet, window. Window. Still sheet, still sheet, window. Window, still sheet. Yeah, there we go. I'd use the regular windows and not the thin windows. Perfect. There. That's better. All better. Okay, so I need a few doors then. Um, a kit door. I need one, two, three, four. Ideally, I need copper. I think my copper's all in here. 15 grams of copper there. Did I make... Ah, I did make extra copper. Alright, so go ahead and start making me... Uh, yeah, door. Kit door. Yeah, that's what I want. I want four of them. Because one, two, three, four. Uh, and well, eventually I'll look at, you know, doing lighting and everything else. Uh, but for now, it's okay. This is two... Thank you. This will be three. And one more. Alright. So while that does its thing. Oh, actually, no. I wanted two more. Uh, I like the composite doors. And specifically because with the composite doors uh, versus the these glass doors. The glass doors you can see through a lot better. And that's nice. But the composite doors, you can run your wires through the sides of the door here. Just not the bottom. But with the glass doors, you can't run them through the sides or the bottom. You can only run it through the top of the door. So, I do like these bad boys a little bit better. So there we go. And I'm actually going to build one more uh, door. Thank you. There and here. Oh, also I should weld this. This needs iron sheets. Uh, I have iron sheets. There we go. And might as well. Perfect. Let me shut that off for now. Take this. With this door, we're going to do a manual hatch door. Like that. Who needs, I want to say just iron plates, right? Uh, unweld, oh, no, I don't care about that. Yeah, I can now do that. And just come through here. Uh, so when I enclose that, we'll, uh, we'll be good to go. Uh, I should weld up these, these floor bits, too. There we go. Iron pump, everything's looking good here. I need plastic sheets for these composite doors. Uh, plastic sheets, please and thank you. And then I need a crowbar and glass. Crowbar and glass. And we'll uh, force the doors open for now uh, while we haven't uh, got everything else set up just yet. <clears throat> and then I need to two walls and a roof. I should have, I have iron walls. Uh, and I like the um, I like the iron walls for our uh, 
for a little skylight thing here. Mm. Iron sheets. Because uh, it lets me know, you know, a little bit of the... Well, I'll know the time of day from the little window on the on the things. But I'll also be able to uh, see, you know, a little bit better and have some natural light inside of here. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto, magnificano. I don't know if those are words, but I said them. Huh? Go there. Uh, okay, so... I need... No. I need... Kit sensors. I need two sensors. I need... Gold and copper. Uh, I have gold. I'll have to grab the copper out of one of... Uh, you have copper in you, right? Yeah, 15 grams. Leave everything on the floor. It's fine. Gold and copper. So I need two sensors for these airlocks. We. Give me. Relinquish unto me. Your sensors. Okay. Cool. So, throw that there. I need sensors. I need APCs. Uh, but I don't have... Um, Hydration critical. Uh, what is that? Under 20%. Okay. I need them, but I don't have other bits... Do I do walls, or do I do steel frames and have it, you know, a little larger? Huh. If I do that, I could set up on the roof and over that redundant power supply I was talking about. Uh, so, yeah, let's do... That and that. Um, ah, I'll let... I hate that they float. Like, I tried to do it. I, I couldn't. <laughs> My brain was like, don't you dare. Uh, steel sheets. Welder. There we go. Uh, I hate that noise. All right, I'm pick these sensors up, uh, just in case we get a fourth storm. Ah, <sighs> and let's go back inside. Let's have some water, have some food, and let's actually go ahead and wrap up the stream. I just noticed I'm going for about four and a half hours now. Uh, I haven't eaten dinner. I haven't even cooked dinner. Um, so that's a different issue, but that's my issue. Uh, but I need to do that. I, I need to go, you know, and shower off the day. Uh, but let's have some potatoes. Let's let's grab the seeds from these three. Expanding our potato network. Oh, you know what I should have done? It was that fridge that's outside that I didn't grab? Hmm. Actually, we'll make that our um. We'll make that the last thing we do. Let's uh. Let's get our fridge. Ooh, actually, no. There's no room in here. Let's not do that. Let's just leave our potatoes there. Ah, but let's have some some water. We've eaten a little bit. There we go. Water. Let's have a potato. And we're full. There we go. Let's put this away. And lovely. Uh, ooh, that is F3 was not the button I thought it was. 
Um, F5's quick save. There we go. Done and done. But thank you to everyone who stopped by and chatted it up with me. Thanks for all the tips and, uh, and helping me out here and uh, surviving as long as we have. Um, F2. Uh, I have no clue how long we survived. Uh, but I know it's been like 17 days or something or whatever it was again. But, uh, yeah. Thanks to all of you. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Maybe sub to the channel if you, uh, you know, are a fan of the style of content. Because it's always around here. But, uh, yeah. Regardless, thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate y'all. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your uh, Monday evening or Tuesday morning or whatever it is for you. Thanks, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.